two, three, four. Well, if I found God anywhere, it would be by the tracks. Face down in a boxcar, 40 in both hands. When I find God there, we'll just sit and roll some top. Cause OP just as confused as anyone else on this rock. I took two tabs of acid yesterday afternoon. Woke up this morning with a torn pair of shoes. Found I'd ruined my life and everyone else's too. I guess this is what my teachers warned me drugs would do. But they forgot to mention the way The morphine makes the pain go away And how I'll always remember the good times in my spine And the holes I burn in my brain With this next line If I found Satan anywhere, it would be by the tracks Trading souls of kids like me for cheap bags of snack When I find Satan there, you know I won't be thinking twice At least in hell, there's rock and roll, it ain't no Jesus Christ I swear I left my sanity someplace in this mess Crumpled between empty beers and packs of cigarettes Get my last note to pieces and then just hope for the best I guess this is why my friends warn me against homelessness But they're the ones getting laid And I'm the one waking up lonely every single day And I'll remember that as I listen to their crap Tell them to fuck off, then hug them after that Well, if I found God anywhere, it would be by the tracks Huff and whip it down as he watches the trains pass When I find God there, I'll watch him pass out throwing up Cause he's drank himself to sleep every night Since the one that he made us One, two, three, four Curse the world one second Demanded by me a sandwich in the next Or else I'm bumming the cigarettes That will help me to forget how hungry I am I can't believe that bastard won this morning It's the kind of night for fucking forties we're mixing our drinks, step tonight. We're mixing our drinks, step tonight. Today is the dawn of the draft. Tomorrow, we're shipped off to Iraq. Or else we're cutting off a toe Praying that we won't have to go I can't believe that bastard won this morning It's the kind of night for fucking forties Who's ready for the war tonight? Who's ready? Running on caffeine and nicotine and amphetamines. I hope more stimulants are on the way. Cause who doesn't have a drug problem these days? I can't believe that bastard won this morning. It's the kind of night for fucking 40s And I'm sniffing those pills 
That got stopped in its tracks by trip to rehab. I'll miss railing pills with you in the park. This one's for every friend that decided not to drop out and stayed at their mom's house. I'll miss you on the street corner when it starts to get dark. Because tonight I'm crying about the crack house that got torn down in the center of town. And tonight I'm laughing about the army recruiting station lying vacant. Here's to the rubble. A brick through every window. A casket buried six feet deep for everybody's heroes. Here's to our lives being meaningless and how beautiful it is. Because freedom doesn't have a purpose. This one's for every arsonist that got locked down before they burnt the cities down. A misty in the skyscrapers on fire! This one's for every friend that got taken off the street So the upper class could sleep, so the upper class could sleep I'll miss the spray paint and slash tires Because tonight I can't smell the pigs around the corner On the shortness of your breath and tonight I can't taste the whiskey from across the room in the stumbling of your steps. Here's to the rubble. And a brick through every window. A casket buried six feet deep for everybody 
these heroes There's to our lives being meaningless And how beautiful it is Because freedom doesn't have a purpose Tonight I bury old William without remorse Because hell sleeps around and heaven wants a divorce Tonight I burn my bookshelf to be free Because even a rebel tradition is slavery Tonight I bake my madness a birthday cake Because even the insomniacs aren't awake Tonight I burn my home while they dove in place So tomorrow I can live like I died yesterday Live like I died yesterday Today a stampede killed Superman And Apollo and Dionysus both got hanged Today the revolution laughed and spit in my face But all expenses paid, Donna will take its place Today the dropouts were smarter than the PhDs As they took off with everyone's car without the keys Today I pled failure all the way up to the sky And I grin hopelessly as I sit down to die As I sit down to die Either way, I'm gonna I'm gonna load my um, smoke machine. Smoke machine. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna load my smoke machine. I have had this shirt has been around Aspen. I've had this shirt for most of my life. Oh, all right. You know what? Um, no, 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 no. I will go for a while. Let me know. Ah, uh, yes, we are having a luau. All right. Um, oh. <coughs> I represent legal tobacco. Ah, oh, you bae. All right. Let me clear a few things. There we go. All right. <clears throat> How is everybody? I um, I've had a weird day. I just physically, I've been, I dude, I've been exhausted all day. Like, like just sleepy, just sleepy. Um, but that happens. Um, uh, that happens. Um, my, okay. So first off, I've had this shirt since I was 15, maybe something like that. 
this shirt doesn't fit the same anymore. I'm not kidding you. I, I put it on and it, the shoulders, the shoulders, it doesn't fit the same. I, this shirt has fit me up until last year. It has fit me my entire life. It doesn't fit the same anymore. I, I put it on and I'm like, I feel tight in it all of a sudden. Like it's, it's yanked in this way across the shoulders. I'm like, I'm bigger than this shirt. Um, Kai is starting to get swole. Yeah. This is the, this is the first fucking piece of clothing I've ever put on yet that, 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 that I'm like, oh shit. Like I can tell. Yeah. Um, either way, um, yeah, I, I, you know, when you live with like chronic disease, autoimmune stuff, you get tired sometimes. You just get tired sometimes. So, uh, in light of the forearms kicking off and the tendonitis and the fucking back stuff recently, um, I took today off and I just did rather than doing like full on workouts, I, um, I did some mobility and flexibility and stretching. I did some yoga. I figured it was probably time to start weaving in some yoga and some flexibility um, days into my workout routine because I think it's gotten to the point where legitimately things are starting to increase in size, but they're also getting tensioned. It's like ratcheting a fucking ratchet strap, right? So I need a flexibility day. So I'm going to add in a, a yoga day once per week. Took it easy today. It's only like 45 minutes of yoga. Um, but yeah, I need to I need to start getting limber again. I'm way, way tighter than I used to be. I, I, I was a bendy boy for most of my life. I, I still can put my palms just flat on the floor from a standing position. Like I can still do that, but I, I'm not flexible in a lot of ways I used to be. I did a runner's stretch. Um, and I was like, holy shit. And if you're wondering if I'm, for those of you who don't know, like a runner stretch is a specific stretch. It's not just like a stretch that runners do. Like, it's just like, oh, there's stretches runners do. And there's a runner stretch. Uh, like those are runner stretches. It, it, it's a specific type of stretch. It's called a runner stretch. Um, I did a runner stretch and I was like, oh my God, I'm fucking Jesus Christ. Ah. Uh, for shame to those who can't touch the ground standing. <laughs> Skinny boy. Skinny boy. Skinny boy. Skinny boy. That's 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 the that's the purview of like I being a skinny boy, I just yeah, it's nothing to touch the ground for me. There's nothing in the way. All I have to do is pivot at the hip. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Oh, uh, but yeah. Yeah, so I need to start adding a flexibility day in, I think. Um, is this for all, uh, is all this for the upcoming Twitch political boxing event? Um, I mean, sure, sure. Uh, I'll be, um, uh, I'll be, uh, um, choosing, a, I'll be electing a champion and I'll be sending Cat in for me. <laughs> How that'll work. Uh, <clears throat> Oh, I've been able to. I've been able to just palm the ground my entire life, beast. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. I need to. I need to add in a flexibility day. Um, who gets first go at boxing chops with has, dude? There's gonna be a fight to find out who gets has first. You know that, right? This could be like people lined up like, no, I want him first. No, I want him first. What's up, level? There's gonna be a line. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, too, Zip. I'm sorry, Zippy. That's, uh, I know how that goes. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm, I'm just, the, the, the forearms are tensioned up. The fucking tendonitis is kicking off. I needed to do, like, forearm stretches and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I, I just did, I did a fucking solid 45 minutes. It's just, you know, it, flexibility. Flexibility-focused yoga rather than, like, you know... Uh, <clears throat> people just successfully recalled one of our county commissioners. Congratulations. If that was a good thing, congratulations. 
Um, yes, there is more hazes than has. Uh, we've known that for a while. Um, infrared is supposedly like a group of people. Supposedly. 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 <laughs> still. Still on the fence. Still on the fence. <laughs> it just, you know, forgive me, has says it, so I have to doubt it. The dude is so full of shit. Oh, the, oh God, the guy was a libertarian dipshit, so it was very good that he got recalled. Good, good. <clears throat> yes, yes. Has is the superior specimen that has been forged by the ages of Lysenko selective breeding. There he is. See, that's that's the superior specimen right there. Come on, Has. Yes, and my little superior specimen. He's a he's adorable. Hello, Puka. Um Oh, uh, there's just randos out there that who think like has. Oh, yeah. Wow. <sighs> cool. All right. I love y'all. I love y'all finding out about like the the difference of the estrogen versus testosterone thing I love, fucking, I love seeing that in the railroad <laughs> that discussion they're like holy shit i'm like yes i have been saying this it's so easy to get it's ridiculous shit is just like laying out on the street at this point you just walk down the street and pick it from trees basically it's so common um Pocket has is adorable. Regular has not so much. I, I do agree. Our our specific clone of has is um yes. Yeah, it's 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 a superior version, yes, for sure. Um I used Mendelian genetic uh uh um uh genetics rather than uh fucking Lysenkoist. <laughs> and as a result, my has turned out ideal. Um uh, <clears throat> Because it's literally just um, zippy. Because it's somebody just fleeing. It's literally a person running. <laughs> That's, dude, it ain't always going to be a train. It wasn't called a railroad because it had trains involved in it. That's, the, that's where my brain goes. Like when you talk about an underground railroad or a railroad, it's just a fucking dude running. Like, that's just... Yeah, that shit wasn't, dude, there were no railroads. <laughs> that shit was fucking hiking through the woods, sprinting at times, fucking burying yourself in God knows what to like hide for a minute. Yeah, dude, that was, dude, the Underground Railroad was a physical task. I, I, it was, that's where my head goes. I don't even, I don't even think of a fucking train when I think of a, a, a like a railroad. Right. If I've contextually, if I'm in underground railroad territory, I don't even think of a train. So it's it's a dude running. <clears throat> that's where my brain went. So that's why I use that that icon. That's that's the the thought process. Uh, <clears throat> Tubman was a beast. Tubman was a beast. She got the job done. She apparently, I mean, she was. She got the job done. Yeah, she got the fucking job done. <laughs> um, the job was not easy. The job required stealing of one's character, a hardening, and you know, there's there are some stories that you're like, God damn, but that's what the job required, and she got it fucking done like a goddamn champ, and I have nothing but respect for that. Um, John Brown was, dude, John Brown was a fucking, oh, he was a thing. He was a thing. He was a thing. Um, fucking Mr. I acknowledge no master in human form, John Brown. You a human? Yeah. You ain't better than me, man. You can sit down and shut the fuck up. <laughs> that's, that's, dude, good old fucking John Brown. 
<clears throat> Are you God incarnate? No? <laughs> then I can fix you. Um, I'm, uh, there's a, there's a saying in gun circles, <laughs> gun nuts, uh, and the like, um, God made man, Colonel Colt made him equal. <laughs> it was, it was, it was like that. Um, yeah, John Brown's in that camp of like. Yeah, I acknowledge no mastery in human form. <laughs> oh, he was he was a fucking thing. Um, so <laughs> Tubman was amazing. Yes, uh, the boy. Oh yeah, uh, I live near uh, railroad. This is why I can walk to the tracks right now. Um, there's a railroad that goes right through Las Vegas. Um, right through the middle, like. Right through the Las Vegas. Um, this was once upon a time, one of the original incarnations of Las Vegas, far back in ways, was a railroad stop. That was one of the developmental processes because there was a water. There was, a, there was an oasis here. There's, there's, there's a swamp in the middle of town. Like people, like you don't even, people don't understand. Vegas is fucking weird as shit. It really is weird. If you go like, sort of downtown like it's it's a little northwest of downtown but like if you go to the middle of our fucking town there's the springs preserve there's there's springs there and there's like an oasis in the middle of the desert like it truly is an oasis and there's life there and there's it's it's an astounding place so there was water here there was a water spring here so of course when they took the railroad through they wanted it to be located near water and since there was an old, already an old mormon mission here because the mormons copied the indigenous population they were like where's the fucking water and the indigenous population were like oh let us show you they showed the mormons the mormons were like settlement here so there's an old mormon fort there which there's an old mormon fort in the middle of town as well um so yeah there's there's a railroad that goes right through fucking las vegas because we're a spring um, train good, car bad, horses, agents of chaos. Yeah, it's not that kind of train. It's 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 all industrial shit here. It the train goes right by it, whether it goes right by it because that's they they would literally pump they they pump the water out, they put it in the tower, and the train would pull right up and they'd fucking swing that uh swing that pipe that fill pipe out and fill the boiler. Yeah. It's right by it. Yep. Old trains need water. That's it. They lived and died by water. So, yeah, since we're a, we're a spring, we have a train track right through it. And by the way, the reason corporations the reason corporations are so out of check is because of a series of lawsuits that were basically launched by the uh, Southern Pacific Railroad that created a permanent corporate institution in this country. Prior to that, corporations were single task entities who were created to build something, like a bridge for a community, because our founders were terrified of corporations because Dutch East India Company and the British, and like, okay, so they, our founders were well versed in what corporations could get up to if you left them unchecked so the original incarnation of corporations in this country was hugely restricted and through a series of court battles um southern pacific railroad basically uh, basically laid the foundation or the framework uh or built the framework for what we we understand to be this permanent corporate apparatus and infrastructure in this country today we have the railroads to blame for the global corporate takeover so yeah, that's 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 literally the the story of corporations in this country. Yeah. <clears throat> that's that's why Americans don't trust trains. See, Europeans love trains. Americans see that trains. We instinctively know that trains ruin the world, and so we've been slowly trying to kill them off this entire time. Um, yeah, I'm going with that. Um, <laughs> all the rest of it's true though. Um. <clears throat> And then we got rid of the corporations forever as the founding fathers intended, right? Uh, hey, Papa John. Uh. Shut 
chose the railroadists to control the world. No, they just ruined it. There it is. Reclaim democracy. Uh, if anybody wants to... Um, <clears throat> here you go. Um... Initially, the privilege of incorporation was granted selectively to enable activities that benefit the public, such as construction of roads or canals. Enabling shareholders to profit was seen as a means to that end. The states imposed conditions. Corporate charters licenses to exist were granted for a limited time and could be revoked promptly for violation of any law, and they commonly did all the time. Corporations could engage only in activities necessary to fulfill their original chartered purpose. Corporations could not own stock in any other corporations, nor could they own property that was not essential to fulfilling that chartered purpose. Corporations were terminated if they exceeded their authority or caused any public harm. Owners and managers were responsible for criminal acts that the corporation, uh, that, that the corporation causes or that were committed on the job. Owners and managers. Straight up, you're all responsible. Do you have stock in this corporation? Did they pollute the waterway? You're legally culpable. That was originally, like, could you imagine that? Oh, by the way, Nestle, we're charging you with human trafficking. Um, who owns your stock? We're going to need a name, a list, uh, like a list of names. Corporations could not make any political or charitable contributions, nor spend any money to influence lawmaking. For a hundred years after the American Revolution, for a hundred years after the American Revolution, this is how it was run. I'm not kidding you. This is how it, the law of the land for a hundred years in this country was this. Yeah. I, I. <sighs> Try to turn that to a constitutional originalist. Mm. Um, we should do it. I, I, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. It was only through a series of fucking, like, it, the, the biggest blow was um, was Santa Clara v. Uh, Southern Pacific. And that, that dude, did that's a sketchy-ass court case, it, uh, if you go looking into it. It's not even because of its precedent. It's because of a misleading note written by a clerk that uh, a subse uh, the decision was subsequently used as precedent um, that a corporation was a natural person. It's it's literally not the only reason. The the, the groundwork of which this is this is drive you even crazier about the Alito thing that this fucking there's no deep history of. Okay, the only reason that corporations are considered people legally in the U.S. is all built off of this one fucked up thing that happened in Santa Clara v. Um, Southern Pacific. And the there was a misleading, inaccurate note written by a law clerk on the fucking draft. And as a result of... Uh, 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 written on the opinion sheet. And as a result of that, that was subsequently used as precedent in a further case. And then another case... That were, it, it, so the way Supreme Court precedents work, right? That was used in a case to set precedent. And then another case comes along and they use that, that, uh, that second case, a third case, a fourth case, a fifth case, all the way up to Citizens United. But it's all built of this single moment. And it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Uh, let me try and get you. Well, I mean, the law clerk. Let me. Ooh, geez. Let me try and get that law clerk's name. I mean, that's. I don't even know if I've ever had the fucking law clerk's name. Hold on. Um. 
Alright. Who would have been clerking for who? This is a Marcus job. This is a Marcus job. I'm not going looking. This is a Marcus job. <laughs> Marcus might actually know. Um, so someone dropped a knife and bo uh, kite and boom. Uh, oh yeah. So yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, come on. Uh, I can spell. Here is the story. Um, here is here is a link to a good portion of the story about the Southern Pacific case. Um, and here is the reclaimed democracy sheet on the uh, the history of corporate accountability in the U.S. If anybody wants it. Um, so. Yeah, it, it, has, <clears throat> it has to do with direct legal malfeasance stacked over generations. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Do you ever feel like you fucked up bad at work? Remember, you could always be that law clerk. Oh, I know. <clears throat> so anyway, there's a short little aside about the, cor uh, the true history of corporations in the United States for, I mean, you know, 100 years. Uh, before a bunch of fucking idiots came along and decided that they have no humanity and that they're a uh, functional sociopaths. Oh, oh, yeah, by the way, I've been wanting to mention this one. Um, <clears throat> the California, uh, it's, yeah, the California Catholic diocese bishops are are petitioning the U.S. Supreme Court to review California's sex abuse law because they think that it is too harsh. Um, they're saying that the law is unconstitutional because California gave victims a chance to sue in 2002 um, when it opened a one-year portal for sex abuse survivors to file claims. Um and that, you know, now that California just has sort of opened it up, I'm like, yeah, you're liable. You're culpable. Um, the uh, <clears throat> Catholics who would be on the hook for generations of sexual, physical, and emotional abuse... Don't want to be legally and, um, well, more importantly, financially liable. <clears throat> so, yes. Um, given that six of the nine um, justices are Catholic or Catholic adjacent. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Where are the babble thumbers? Babble. Oof. I'm sorry, Zippy. Oh, let's see. Oh, the Dimension Pope song. Uh, Catholic judges in a Protestant country. Oy vey. It's just, it's just, yeah, there's not a history of that, is there? Just, Europe doesn't know anything about how that turns out, right? Can you, you, any 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 uh, insight that the Europeans might be able to lend to the Americans as to how that how that typically turns out? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> they say violence. Oh, fucking pleasant resort, and nothing else. Oh. Laughs in Ireland. <laughs> um, 
Oh, all right. Um, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a tier list tonight. Um, we might be doing U.S. presidents. Um, <clears throat> Marcus did a U.S. presidents one. Um, there are a couple of things I want to mention. Um, so Minneapolis um, became the first American city to abolish single uh, single family zoning. <clears throat> it's a, I'm not going to get into the whole fucking zoning process, but just know that basically single family zoning is an artifact of the redlining. So, you know, um, the racist socioeconomic policies that the U S implemented in order to segregate our cities, um, single family zoning is an artifact of, uh, of those times. Um, and Minneapolis was the first city in, um, in America, like first major city to abolish it a while back. So let's go ahead and check in on them. How are they going? How are they doing? 2015, right? This is when they did this. They went from, uh, I'm sorry, no, 2015. They did it, um, two years ago, I believe. Um, in 2015, they had 2,600 housing unit approvals in their city. Um, in 2020, they had 5077 the owners there's there's a there's actually like proper supply uh in their city so owners are having to lower rents to find renters um in fact the national trend of increasing rents um minneapolis uh diverges from that trend um it's it doesn't have spiking rents right now so there, there is one single change that your city can do that will rebalance the rental market and it's undo single family zoning. It's that simple. So yeah, if you want to know what to advocate for in your local area, if you want to um, fix some of that rental issue stuff, single family zoning uh, in America, that's your biggest problem. That'll, that'll fix a lot of stuff just right off the books. Um, there's a few other things that you can then do if you really wanted to get mean, good. It's a good kind of mean. Ban investment properties. You want to you wanna really fix your, your real estate market? Ban investment. <clears throat> it, it would hurt at first. At first, you'd, you'd take a hit, um, but in the long term, the health of your real estate market for your actual populace that lives there, that lives, works, and dies in your city, it's much better. So, yeah. It's very not American, too, by the way, to, to, to forgo short-term for long term, very not American, but yeah, single family zoning, undo that, your rental, uh, your rental prices start to sort themselves out as supply balances. Um, investment, uh, real estate investment, uh, external real estate investment. Yeah. Get rid of that just entirely. You don't need that. Uh, Cassie, be a tax empty housing. I mean, yeah, you can do that too. But there's other ways to incentivize the market. Uh, I don't know about the USA, but we have buy to let mortgages in the UK and they constantly anger me. I don't even know what that is. Caleb, I don't even know what that is. No, you don't have... This is semantical almost. Uh, fucking Pogo. Yeah, Houston doesn't have uh, zoning, but they do have residential ordinances that govern everything. 
and they do have single family ordinances. Like this is and they've had and they had redlining. Like literally there's there's I'm looking at the maps right now. Uh, there are people who say more inventory wouldn't help providing affordable houses and it would drive down property value. My dude, making shit available lowers the market price. That's how it works. Emphasis. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I guess those are just like landlord, uh, like adjacent jackasses that like you just have to sort of, I guess, work with, um, because Jesus. Um, okay. <clears throat> it's a mortgage specifically for people who want to rent house. Okay. I feel you, Caleb. I feel you. I didn't even get through it. It's a mortgage for renters. What in the wide world of fucks is a mortgage for renters? Bitch, I'm not going to take a lifetime worth of debt out to rent a place. Y'all got some fuckity fuck shit going on over there. Holy shit. Um, will anyone think of the landlord? Um, what do you think about uh, the ideas of Henry George concerning land? Henry George is the land reform guy, right? So he would have been land valuation. Um, abolish, abolish all taxes. Uh, save that upon the lands. Um, it's basically rent, but you have to pay for work on the house yourself. Y'all know you're the home of pitchforks and torches, right? Just saying. Um, yeah. Y'all may want to fix that. Y'all may want to fix that. Um, anyway, Rumble asked about Henry George. Um, yeah, um, he was the abolish all taxes, save fat upon the lands or whatever. Um, so, I mean, uh, look from from a uh, like a mechanics of economics point of view I don't know what I think I'd, I'd actually love to hear what somebody qualified <laughs> somebody who has an expertise in in the the economic side the finance side Swede I'd love to hear what Swede has to say about it functionally speaking um, for me like ethically it makes sense because George's idea of land ownership was you can take as much as you, you, you can productively use. Now we'd have to codify what productive use is and something like that in that manner. And I'm sure it would be abused by corporate, corporate inf infrastructures for sure. Um, but it's an interesting concept at least. Um, that that the, the 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 taxation that's necessary for the whatever statist infrastructure that you're going to implement, um, or non-statist if you actually get your shit together, um, <laughs> humanity won't though. Um, that 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 that's where the revenue is coming from is the land use tax. Um, so what's up, Astral? Yeah, that was like the land value taxation, right? That was George's proposal. Um, so, what do I think? I, 
Has anybody tried it? Do I know? Like, do we know? Like, I don't know. I, I don't know a shit ton about Henry George other than, like, the alternative taxation scheme and his opinions on um, <clears throat> land property ownership and that sort of thing. Um, but, like, has anybody ever actually given it a fucking trial run? Does it work? <sighs> it's for landlords to buy property. They can't really afford and have a property to rent. Oh, okay. So that's a mortgage that you take out specifically to create a rental property then. Okay. Got you, Caleb. Um, in Indonesia, all land must be used for a specific and useful purpose. And if you don't, the government sends people to plant corn on the unused land and you have to allow it. Okay. The corn thing is a bit weird. Um, but other than that, I mean, look, I'm an anarchist. I'm never going to... The government coming out to just seize land and fucking for the state freaks me out a little bit. Admittedly so. But I vibe with it. I get it. <clears throat> I get it. I don't like the qualifiers that it has to be like specific and useful and you know, yeah. There that's that's fucking um It, it, it jives with um, with sort of like the anarchist uh, use, uh, prop, uh, like property use uh, conditions. Because anarchists generally don't believe that, like, you, you, they, we believe in personal property, but the personal property has to be something that you're uh, actively using. So a boat that sits on the docks 51 weeks of, uh, of the year isn't your property. It just isn't. If somebody fucking shows up for the other 51 weeks of the year and starts using your using your boat, that's not your boat. That's their boat. They use it 51 weeks of the year. That's that's use. So that's that's generally how anarchists view property use. Um, and so it, it vi I vibe with it at least. <clears throat> they don't legally take your ownership away. They just plant crops to feed the people. All right. All right, all right. Um, fucking, um, all right, off topic. Who from the Frankfurt School is worth reading? Uh, Hegel's worth reading. Kant is worth reading. I mean, Marx is somewhat worth reading. Um, fucking, oh, I don't even fucking, who else is in that list? Jesus Christ. Um, that's all. <laughs> That's that's the only ones that spring to mind. It's Hegel, Marx, and Kant. Um, yeah. I, Zippy, then technically you wouldn't own it. Imagine the government employees spitefully tossing corn on the lawn while maintaining eye contact. It better grow, he concludes, before making the I got my eyes on you gesture. Um, should be hemp, not corn. Yeah, see, there we go. Astral fucking working some shit. Um, that's, it's, it's blue skies. We're blue skies. You could see blue skies brainstorming, guys. No bad ideas, but knocking that one out of the park, Astral. <laughs> All of the above being a hard read. Yes, they are. <laughs> I, Dude, am I weird? Kant is the easiest one to read out of those three. Am I weird? I think I'm weird. Um, I think I'm weird. <laughs> I'm like, Kant was like the easiest one for me out of like Hegel and Marx. I mean, I, I dude, Marx, I didn't get that far. Dude, Marx is impenetrable. It's so, it's so bad. It's so bad. Oh. Only a sadist tells people to read Hegel. Hi. Um, in fact, I'm deeply involved in the BDSM community. <laughs> Both a sadist and a masochist. Yeah, I can take it, but I can give it too. So, um, <clears throat> I read uh, Discapital and do not recommend. Dude, it's not... But Kant just hosed the Jesus off of Christian morality and rationalized it after the fact. Is he even worth the reading? Yes, he's the easiest of those three. Okay. Um, sex support, so. 
<laughs> Sterner's just a Sterner's just an old man shaking his fist at the church half the time. <laughs> like literally half of the my, uh, the ego in its own is literally literally half is just an old man shaking his fist at the church. I mean, you know, when you start to really reductively boil these fuckers down, you know, <laughs> it's like, yeah, there's some depth in there, but at the end of the day, uh, <laughs> um, also I think Kantian interpretation of Hegel is useful. Um, as for, uh, uh, recommending Habermas, um, is there something Sterner doesn't shake his fist at? Oh, uh, probably not. Probably not. He was, he seemed to be like the, the pinnacle of just grumpy old man. <laughs> You're fucking, I love Sterner. I love that meme. I love that meme. Sterner is the, Sterner makes the best meme for the best, uh, makes for the best memes. Uh, I love that meme. <laughs> Fuck it. Shut up, you bitch. I I'm on ketamine. <laughs> Just Sterner. Oh my God. Sterner was a piece of work. Um, let's see. Kant, Hegel, and Marx was foundations from which the Frankfurt School developed their ideas. The members of the school are Marcus, or Dono, Hergheimer, Benjamin, Fromm, Pollock, Lowenthal, Habermas, Schmidt, Hanneth, Kreuzer, and Kirschimer. No. No. I, I honestly don't think you need to read any of them. None of, in my opinion, none of them did put up anything that was transcendent of the founders of the school. <laughs> Ble ah, bleach it, bleach it, bleach it. I mean, you have to, dude, tech support, you have to speak a little bit of this shit or else you don't know what the fuck these idiots are rambling on about half the time, right? Like, then then go read some, like, if you want to understand Marx, read some Marx and then go read some Bakunin because Bakunin was constantly fighting with Marx. Right? But you won't know what the fuck Bakunin's talking about if you haven't read a little bit of Marx at least. Right? Like you have to you have to have the perspective. You do. You do. You have to understand that, you know, it be just the basics, right? You've gotta understand the synthesis process and understand that that's not Hegelian in nature, it's actually Kantian and then blah 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 blah. But um Oh, I hate De Boer. I hate DeBoer. Okay, so here's my deal with DeBoer. It has nothing to do with the content of the book. I hate his writing style. I hate it. I hate it. Like, I legitimately hate it. I, something about DeBoer's writing style fucking legitimately pisses me off. I don't know. I think it's like a holier-than-thou talking down to writing style or something. I've never really, really worked at figuring it out. But I do... In, DeBoer annoys the shit out of me. Now, the point of society and uh, 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 the spectacle, uh, society of the spectacle, is entirely intact. It's this is not a criticism of DeBoer's actual work. It's a criticism of his writing. I hate his writing. <laughs> uh, everything. Um, but that it fucking that is. Uh, nah, maybe it's a be fucking. 32, the spectacle is repetitive. 33, the spectacle is redundant. Uh, I like every time that I write Sterner, I get the, I get the emoji. Yep, yep. Uh, Sterner classic portrait by Engels has a chair on the floor on its side because Sterner probably kicked it. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 dude, Sterner makes for the best memes. Stern makes for the best memes. Um, yeah, I truly believe that. So is Zizek the Bakunin to Chomsky's Marx? No, I, uh, no, 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 because Zizek would be closer to Marx than he would, than Chomsky ever would be. No, uh, Mark, uh, Chomsky is the Bakunin to Zizek's I mean, see this, the criticism is coming. The, the personality is Chomsky as Bakunin and um, Zizek as Marx. But the, the criticism flow, the, the, the output and the criticism flow is very much Chomsky as Marx and, Baku, uh, and uh, Zizek as Bakunin. So it's both. 
it's it's both of those. If we're talking about personality and like if we're talking about the the essence of it's Bakunin and Chomsky. But if we're talking about the actual direction of criticism and production of content, then very much so. Yeah, Zizek is Bakunin in that instance. I I think Zizek is gonna. I, I I mean Cassiopeia. Yeah, I mean Zizek is closer to Hegel. He's closer to Marx. Like he's he's closer to that school. Yeah, very much so. Um, I think Zizek is gonna lose his mind when Chomsky dies. I think I think. Uh, yeah. Zizek loves him. Zizek loves him. You don't spend that much time criticizing somebody and not fall in love with them a little bit. Zizek loves him. He does. Yeah, he's... he's Not if Zizek dies first, that's true. Yeah, they're like anime rivals. Exactly, Beast. Like, they're like anime rivals. Dude, these guys love each other. They really do. They annoy the shit out of each other, but they love each other. You don't spend that much time talking about, thinking about, analyzing, deconstructing, criticizing somebody's thoughts and ideas and not get close to them. These guys understand each other on a, on a level that, you know, friends tend to. Wizard Wars are the best. Yes. Zizek, Zizek's going to be fucking broken up when Chomsky dies. Also, he's going to lose a huge source of content. I mean, I for a long time, Zizek's entire like existence was predicated on wait for Chomsky to say something and then say the opposite. Like, he, dude, Chomsky was a font of content for Zizek for a good portion. He was. He was a reply guy. Like... Dude, Chomsky made fucking Jesus' career. It's like the only reason I know Machine Gun Kelly exists is because Eminem tore him a new one. That's it. Probably the only reason we know Zizek exists is because he was he got into it with Chomsky. <laughs> I mean, kind of made him famous. It's just implied in the so on and so on. Yeah, yeah, sure. I also worry about people who stand these people. He got famous for doing a shit ton of coke and then going on like pseudo philosophical rambles. Uh, he's a thousand years old. I, 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 it astounds me the things people expect from people. Like fucking Chomsky fell off. Yeah, like 20 years ago, man. He's like a thousand years old. Come on, guys. Imagine being like 97 and people are fucking recording your shit and putting it on the internet and analyzing it with a fucking lens of phils a degree of phil philosophical analysis that rivals a fucking Mars uh, NASA mission. I mean, he's a thousand years old, guys. Chomsky. No, I agree. He should have shut up ages ago. <laughs> But, you know, every time someone mentions Eminem, now I have to think of the intern who asked me if I know him. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, Zippy. Good luck. Grandpa, can you read me a story? Sorry, I'm arguing on Twitter. 
Oh. All right. Let's see. What the fuck? Is that actually that actually just drags over there automatically if I do that? Wow. Okay, that's weird as shit, man. Um, that's some functionality that shouldn't exist. All right, what are we doing? Um, <laughs> we're tier listing American presidents. This should be interesting. Oh, interesting. Audio desync, huh? Just you or everybody? Um, let's close that. Let's see. Marcus, 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 where the fuck are you? There we go. And let's do that. So you get dropped here. Why the fuck would that do that? Alright. That gets put there. Uh, so he gave me, oh god, he gave me 10 slots on this one. Oh, that's boo, 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 I say. Alright, um, I'm gonna do what we did last time, because that actually made it a lot easier on me. Um... It was your all. Oh, that was your first meet the boomers moment. Not personally. She was listening to Eminem and I said she can play it on the speaker. She asked if I know him and I said I'm okay with his music because it's a young people thing. Eminem is a young people thing. <laughs> mm. Hey, he's most fa famous white rapper. He's also arguably one, you know, top five most famous rappers. Period. Um, I mean, I was young when I first heard Eminem, so it tracks. I remember crossing the campus in high school and somebody asking if I had seen that new music video where uh, Clinton was getting a blow uh, blow job behind the podium. I was like, what? Like, yeah, some fucking rapper. I'm like, all right, let's see it. What? My name is what? Oh. She was 17. Jesus, fuck. 17-year-olds shouldn't exist. Yeah, some fucking rapper. Go on to become one of the most famous rappers arguably the most famous rapper of all time. <laughs> I, yeah. He's... Yeah, like... Oh. Alright, what do we got? I mean, a few, <laughs> a few of these are obvious. A few of these are obvious. A few of these are obvious. A few of these I do not know. I mean, Jesus. Um, all right. So it was like, mm -hmm. Do that. Don't like that. Um, who do you choose in the top left? Something about black and white makes it hard to tell. Who do you think is in the top left? Let me let me give you a hint. Black and white. <laughs> what the fuck do you think that is? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm binary. Clinton! Oh, uh, yeah. I see Clinton there, too. I mean, to be fair... To be, f to be fair, I mean... We had some good-looking presidents. Is that Hillary? <laughs> Clinton looks like Elvis. He kind of does. We had some good-looking presidents. I mean, to be fair, like, there's a couple lookers on this list for sure. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's Biden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The color pick, that's Biden. No, Biden's a good-looking dude. Hunter's good-looking, too. Yeah. Yeah, the Bidens are good-looking men. He's just old as fuck, man. Time's a bitch. JFK just being JFK like a motherfucker up in there, though. JFK is just fucking... Dude, he had... He was sex. Dude, JFK was just sex on wheels, man. He was, oof. He 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 just dripped it. Motherfucker looked good. Yeah, goddamn happy birthday, Mr. President. Yeah, for sure. Homie could get it. Um, yeah, we had some good looking presidents at least. And I mean the the like the non god tiers are pretty good looking too. This one's um I forget. Oh god, who's that? Ford. I think this is Ford. Ford was the football player, right? Um, because Ford was stacked. Oh yeah, like Ford was stacked, dude. He was a football player. Um, all right, let me. Yeah, you're right. Like we're gonna let me do this. Hang on. Yeah, this needs to be pink. And then this can be, I don't know, fucking whatever. That. Um, it can be that. Um, done. It's just garbage. Um, all right. Let's just, let's just get it out of the way, right? Let's just get, get it out of the fucking way. You know what? Dude, look at that jawline. He was stacked. Good head of hair. He could get it. He could fucking get it too. God, I just recognized, I just recognized, I just recognized Mr. Yale here. Oh, that one just clicked. I don't think Obama's S tier. I've also done a ton of guys that look just like him. Yep, yep, Yale, he just clicked. This dumb mother looking motherfucker. Um... See, see, it's difficult for me to like, cause dude, Bush senior was dude. He, he was into a bunch of shit that I kind of just straight up fight. He was a fighter pilot for fuck's sake. He was like a top gun fighter pilot and shit. And like, you know, director of the CIA, right? Like this motherfucker actually like, right. But only this photo is what I have to work off of. I can't take anything else into account. Those are the rules that were established when we first started doing these. Yeah, younger Trump is better looking. Um, younger Trump is better looking. That is that is straight up. Um, nah, I think these guys are equal. These these guys, yeah, I'd totally fucking do him. And oh my god, he's just sex incarnate. 
H was a real motherfucker. He was, dude. H was like for real a G. Like homie would, he would roll. Yeah, like for real. Like put some respect on Bush Sr.'s name. He was, yeah, he was an authoritarian psychopath war criminal. Yeah, but like he was for real. Like he got out there and did some shit. He wasn't just a j desk jockey and, and, and shit. Like you respect on some level. Like I'd prefer you not to exist, but yeah. Homie did some shit. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Eisenhower hiding behind me. Um, ooh. Let's see. Hmm. I mean, let's just, I mean, Billy Boy, it's not your best photo. It's kind of a B-rank photo, Billy. You are just a dumb looking motherfucker. You are a dumb motherfucker. I mean, this just looks like the average dude, right? This just looks like the average dude. This is Carter, by the way. Um, he looks like, I've, I've like, I've known and slept with quite a few dudes. That look just kind of like that. Um, but you know what? <sighs> nah, he's not that good looking. He's down there with Billy. He's good looking, but not. Mm. <sighs> okay, so. Only D tier for Bush Jr. I, I you know. That's the party age Bush Jr. That's the party age Bush Jr. He might, I mean, he'd fucking. Yeah. Sure, you don't you don't see it? Holy shit, yeah, that's Bush Jr. C minus if it was an option. Yeah, I, I know. Like like uh. Yeah, tech support. All I can the uh, rules are the photo. The rules are the photo. So what we have to then decide by for yourself and me, but what I have to decide is where my cutoff is. Where, where, who gets, who gets, who gets some nookie and who doesn't, right? So, like, no, they don't caboose. They age horribly. So, like, we, what I have to decide is I think F tier is just no. Um, <laughs> no, Davy, Davy, Cro Davy Crockett was not a president. That's Teddy. <laughs> That's Teddy. <laughs> oh, I love that. Was Davy Crockett a president? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I, this, this motherfucker right here did more to get us into the civil war than any other president. That's Pierce. Y'all motherfuckers don't even know. Y'all motherfuckers don't even know Franklin Pierce. Uh, fucking, um, all right. So, all right, let's do some, let's make some moves here. Um, <laughs> I barely know who my own president is at this, <laughs> at this time. Um, all right. So the vampire looking motherfucker is Garfield, uh, Garfield. Um, dude, he blew the fuck up too. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, who do I want to put where? Let's just start left. I suppose we got fucking scrawny ass fucking Abe. I mean, a was a was fucking gay. Um, or at least bisexual, given the letters between him and his uh, security guard, which were super fucking gay. 
Um, so, I mean, Lincoln at least give you the D, D proper. Um, fucking, he'd cuddle you afterwards, too. It was that high voice of his. Um, all right, so Pierce, I'm sorry, homie. You just, I don't know what's going on there. Um, Bush Sr., you're definitely in that Abe category, right? Like, that's, that's for sure. Um... Fucking um, Johnson, it's Johnson. Um, yeah, you're just stern looking, man. Um, you're just stern looking. Benjamin Harrison is sort of a. It looks like he's gonna ask to to uh, like suck your toes, but I'm okay with that. That doesn't bother me. Um. <laughs> oh, I, it's this is this is ah, you're right you're right but it's based on the photo only it's only based on the photo uh uh papa like papa john like it, it it's it's based on the photo i can't work off of the fact that i know motherfucker be swinging lumber right like i, I just have to work off the photo um Truman could get it. Truman could get it. Yeah. Yeah, I feel good about that. Really? You're going S tier for fucking, um, for Roosevelt. Or A tier for Roosevelt. Little FDR. You would put, you would put FDR there. I'd put him there. I'd put him in my B's real, real easily. I gotta, I gotta tell you, I think Truman, I might, mm, I, some, there's something there. Dude, fucking Bills are down here making bedroom eyes, though. Holy shit, that photo just looks right at you. Um, God, that feels more right for me, though. <laughs> Glasses guy looks like he's going to commit a genocide after sex. Well, Truman did, you know, do some things. God, fucking... I gotta do it. Dude, the photo's just speaking to me. What am I what can I say? What can I fucking say, man? Alright, let's do Coolidge. Um Yeah, no. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, homie. Um fucking Oh fuck me. Um It'll come to me. You look like a, a slimy insurance salesman in a suit. Nothing else. Nothing else. Based on that photo alone, he looks like a slimy car, used car salesman or insurance salesman, right? Which he is. Fucking, it's that. It really is that simple. Um, ah, fucking a. Um, all right. So Dwight. I mean, Dwight's got an intent. You can see Dwight's kind of fucking stacked a little bit. Um. Yeah, right here. Ah, uh, ah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, I'm gonna struggle with these two. I'm gonna struggle with these two. Oh, you know what? I didn't consider. Um, dude, he got so fat. Dude, he got so fat. Um, this one's Taft. Um, Taft looks good in that photo, though. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, motherfucker, I know who you are. I just don't know who you will fucking are, man. Um, I 
think that's Grover. I think that's Grover. This is not a great photo, but he looks kind of okay. Not a fan of the beard, man, but... You're something over here. Yeah, you're somewhere down there. Um, Alright, Hoover. Let's, um... Yeah, I'm feeling that. Chester, Chester A. Arthur. Chester A. Arthur. That's who that is. That's Arthur. Dude, my presidential knowledge is decent. Um... I can't with the weird facial hair. Would I give Hoover a Hoover? Yeah, yeah, I'd give Hoover a Hoover. I would. I would. I this is my cutoff here. This is my cutoff. D the the line the uh, the line is um between D and F. It's that simple. The line is at D and F. I, I'm not I'm not doing any of the Fs. Uh I would bang the D's. Um Ah, man, I got to tell you, I'm sorry, man, but you got to go. You got to go, my man. Harrison's out. I got to move him down. A um, 100%, homie, you are crazy as fuck. Come on up. Um, hmm. All right, you big dick psychopath. All right, you big dick psychopath. Here's LBJ. I can't know that you have the biggest dick and balls of any of our presidents. Um, I can only go off the photo, and this photo is telling me that you are some, like, Bashar fucking looking motherfucker I, I can't god that's a fucking travesty travesty because knowing what I was down knowing what knowing what, what was actually going on downstairs this is just um yeah dude the Bashar thing is fucking like oh man this is killing me but he's F tier in this photo he's 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 F tier He's F tier in this photo, 100%. I can't, I can't do anything about it. It just is what it is. Um, fucking Buchanan down here looking like an idiot. Um, yeah. All right. Let's let's start let's start separating the wheat from the chaff here. Um, here's fucking Hayes. Um, would I do you? Probably not. No. Um, so. I did a report on this motherfucker. Um, fucking God knows when. It's uh, Grant. Um, <sighs> yeah, I'd probably do him. Um... <clears throat> You're the pastor that's going to try and burn me at the stake. That's Harding, by the way. <laughs> uh, McKinley could get after it, though. McKinley could get after it, for sure. And Wilson wasn't a terrible-looking dude. Yeah, he could get it. <sighs> These two motherfuckers right here. These two motherfuckers right here. Oh, this is difficult. This one's difficult. This one's killing me. Because they're both fuckable. They're both fuckable.
God, that hurts. Oh, that one hurts. Both make stank faces during sex. Uh, I'd, have, I'd have banged us out of the age crisis. Um, I think this is the final listing. I think this is the final listing. Thank you, non-binary. Oh, yeah. We we have achieved our final listing. That's 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 how this is this that's how this is going to go down. You know Nixon likes to do weird things, so that might be a point in his favor. Yeah. Dude, creepy gets freaky. Creepy gets freaky. Um God damn. F fucking dude was just sex on wheels, wasn't he? Holy fuck, man. Dude, and Ford could get it. Ford was a good-looking dude in, in college. I banged the fuck out of him. <laughs> the hydro-looking motherfucker being in beach. <laughs> you still talking about Truman? Um... Yeah, dude, yeah, if we had an like an S-plus or an SS tier for... <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, God, yeah. Dude. Dude was hot as fuck. He was sexy. In more ways than one. He, he wasn't just physically attractive, he, which he was, but he exuded it as well. He just had that vibe. Dude was sex. He had like that Prince shit. Right? Where it's just like Prince was just pure sex. Fucking JFK had that shit too. And you're like, God damn, the charisma. It's basically if you put a um if you put all your points into charisma. It's basically what it is. If you do a pure charisma build. Yeah. Yeah, I think maybe. Oh god. I, I gotta tell you. I mean, Ooh, let's just say I'd be I'd be doggy style this one this this row. This row would be doggy style. I, I'd be like, you know what, I don't need to see it. Just throw it in me. Oh god. Hey Will Alexander. Um President Himbo, yeah, basically. Uh JFK was so sexy the CIA got mad about it. Uh and then use Khan as your dump stat. Yeah, dude. Oh yeah. For fucking JFK, a hundred percent. Yeah, Constitution dump stat fucking right into charisma. All right, what's Will Alexander got for me? If there is one thing the Johnny Cash Amber Heard drama Amber Heard drama has shown me, it's that kidney depletion has no gender. Her abuse and general attitude is clearly driven by severe yin jing kidney depletion. Johnny lacks the yang potency to fight her off. Honestly, they should consider coming to Jamar together and getting an ultrasound guided curcumin ghee enema and specialized herbal therapy, as well as a massage at the little temple next to the lake. Quote, the coast of Jamar. Thank you for the biddies. And more importantly, thank you for the words, as always, Will Alexander. <laughs> the Johnny Cash Amber Heard drama. Johnny Cash would just smack the bitch with a guitar and moved on. Uh, that was a fun tier. It's a quick tier, but it's a fun tier. Yeah, good looking one. All right, let's close that. Uh, Johnny Paycheck, dude. The fact when I found out when I found out it was $30 million, I was like, oh, fuck that bitch. Fuck that. Fuck that. When I found out the numbers that were involved in that shit that he paid off for their divorce alone, it was like $30 million fucking dollars for a 15 month marriage. Bitch. Even, all right, even. Even if they're both abusers, right? They're both, okay, they're both abusers. I don't buy that he's the abuser. I don't buy, I don't buy, I think maybe reactive uh, abuse occurred, maybe reactive violence. 
but even providing because we know she's a psychopath everybody's shit okay if everybody's a terrible person 15 months of marriage equals 30 million dollar liability oh you can fuck yourself you can go fuck yourself with that shit Oh, she had him pay off all the tax liabilities as well for her side and his. Yeah, any tax liabilities that are incurred by this process of dissolving communal assets, you cover the liabilities too. I I was as soon as I learned that fact, as soon as I learned that, I was like, "Oh, fuck that cunt." No, I don't care about any of the other shit. What's up, Joe? We just finished a American president tier list where I get to be a caddy gay and just uh, <clears throat> judge them based on pure uh, objective appearance. Um, <laughs> it's a classy $500,000 a month, right? Like 15 fucking months. Fucking, oh, it's not even, dude, that's not even, okay, so 30 million because let's take the, uh, the tax liability, right? Um, that would be $2 million a month. Yeah, that's $2 million a month. Fuck that shit. Oh my god, no, I didn't non-binary. You see the clothes stunt? She wore the same outfit he wore the day after in court. Now, I did see her fucking fake the, do the do the pause for the camera. Everybody said, like, maybe it was the screen coming up in front of her. I was like, dude, she paused for the, for the shot. She paused for the camera. Right. Also, it looked like she was doing bumps in court. Just saying. It looked like she was doing some sort of shit. But, like... Yeah, dude. There's been... Dude, it's been a funny fucking thing to watch. Like, I, I, I'm i not sitting there fucking watching the, the entire thing. But, like, yeah, there's some, like, highlights reels for, like, nine minutes. You can go watch and you're like... God damn... Like, this is some stupid-ass shit. Uh, oh, no, her marriage is 100% worth more than her career, beast. That marriage is worth way more than her career. Is Johnny single again? I mean, I'm not gay, but holy, I'm no abuser either, so it's at least that's a plus. Dude, Zippy's already been saying, like, let Johnny know I'll take care of him. I'm like, bitch, I'm getting him first. <laughs> he seems like a... Dude... Some of the testimony from fucking friends and shit. Dude, that that artist friend, art like the dude who paints, who's his buddy from like high school or some shit. That like, dude, the questions they ask are fucking hilarious. He's like, have you ever sold a painting to Mr. Depp? And he's like, no. I'm like, well, why not? He said, well, the last time I went to like show him a couple of paintings I had, he said, well, how about we do this? How about if I just be your patron? And you can, I'll move you out. You can set up a studio. You can paint. You can just work on projects. So Johnny became his patron. And this fucking attorney, this dumbass attorney, fucking goes, and so did you take him up on that offer? The guy laughs. He's like, hell yeah. The whole courtroom laughs. Like, who wouldn't take their insanely rich friend up? on an offer to be their patron right like yeah i'm worth more money than god at this point i've got an established career i can just you can just live man you just want to paint i can make that happen for you right and because you're my friend i'll get you fucking in galleries and shit it's no big deal i'll just call somebody right like who who wouldn't take that deal <laughs> did you take him up on that deal yes bitch she she asked him um like he was like I, he was like then she's like well how soon did you he's like the next day like why would he, like I dropped everything what the fucking what am I doing that fucking that isn't a worthwhile offer yeah it's just it's like you know yeah and one of the security guards has Mr Depp ever given you get uh, cash and gifts in excess of eighty five hundred dollars the guy's like eighty five hundred she's like yes he's like oh pff, yeah of course way more than that stupid as fucking dude honestly 
It's a good little decompression right before you're sleeping. Oh, uh, you go to sleep, fucking watch like a 12 minute video of highlights from that stupid ass trial. And you're just like, God damn. Yeah, fuck, I look like not taking that deal. Fucking dumbass. Uh, Jesus Christ. That would be hilarious if he gets the 100 million. She took him for 30 million and he takes her for 100 million. Oof, dude, she'll be paying that back her entire life. There's no amount, dude, her career is going to fucking take a hit after this either way. Um, there was a few security guards, actually, Aspen. There was a few of them. Um, but the, I think I know which one you were talking about. Um, I, see, I'm just reading their ages. Heard 35, Dep 58. Bitch, that's what you get, Johnny. That's what you get. Don't be marrying young ones like that. His ex says the most generous person they met. One of them actually said she never found a person like Johnny again. Yeah, no, when the when the entire row of exes, like the line of exes come out and are on your side. I don't need to hear another word out of this chick. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. I know a cold, calculating, manipulative, gold digging bitch when I see one. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's that's what that is. Fuck, I said I haven't seen these motherfuckers before. I've had friends taken by people like that before, right? I've seen that up close and personal. Fuck off with that shit, yeah. And she fucking fakes, she can't even produce some tears. Bitch, aren't you an actress? Squeeze out some tears. What kind of fucking, you're not even, you're just a, you fucking, Jesus, goddamn Christ. Get your fucking game on. This is a hundred million dollar fucking lawsuit. Get your fucking game game face on, bitch. Fucking, what's he going to feel like to lose $100 million? Can you cry now? Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, did, yeah, she did the fake tissue wipe to hide the dry eyes. It was so bad. And then the fucking Sun and the Washington Post or whatever fucking photoshopped in tears. Jesus goddamn Christ, if that wasn't a fucking shit show. The only thing interesting about Elon is the three-way with Amber and her girlfriend. Imagine me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize to a couple of you probably. But imagine being such a loser that it takes being the world's richest man to get you a halfway decent threesome. Jesus fucking Christ, man. It's not that difficult. <laughs> um, he's not allowed to get his eyes in as witnesses. Uh, his ex is in as witnesses, at least till now. Amber opened the door to at least get Kate Moss as a rebuttal witness. I. And he chose a fucking good, like, you know what? You want to know how this world is fucked? You want to know how I know this world is fucked? It's Johnny Depp being drugged through all of this and not Elon Musk. In a just world, the psycho that is Amber Heard would have latched onto Elon Musk and destroyed him. Just two, like, Two collapsing like stars just destroying each other. That, that's what would happen in a just world. <laughs> Thanks. That actually massively boosted my confidence right now. Ah, oh, memories. Fuck money. Yes. Uh, yeah, he smelled her crazy and broke it off, sadly. <laughs> yeah. To shame. Uh, <laughs> I would sacrifice children to the devil to see Elon in Johnny's place. Um, going by what I've heard of Musk, they could probably build a case against him. She smelled too familiar. <laughs> Musk up in there going, I smell sociopathic user. Hmm. 
<laughs> uh, but but th who will take the drunk bed shitting women now? I know, right? Uh, I don't know. Oh my God. Okay. They are getting creepy. I'm looking through some of the photos of like, apparently Amber Heard is like copying Johnny Depp's style like every other day. I, 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 there are some times that it's a little weird. Yeah. Some of it, I'm like, I don't see it. But other times I'm like, yeah, she's actually kind of wearing exactly what he's wearing. Me. Yeah. Fuck crash, she needs a touch of grace. She could always move to Florida. <laughs> oh god. Alright. Um There we go. We'll do that now and done. She smacked the shit out of him. You know she did. You know she did, Viva. You know she did. She smacked the, sh she smacked the shit out of him. Nah, you're just a typical fucking dude, Caleb. That's all. <laughs> yeah, 100%. That psycho bitch smacked the shit out of him. No, I think it's probably one of the reasons he broke it off. He's the abuser, not the abusee. M Musk has, has proper sadist written all over him. Yeah. Sorry to hear that, Kaiser. Is she is it is it recoverable, or is it terminal, or is it still unknown? Sorry to hear that, though. <clears throat> Does it know what the fuck this is? Get on you. <laughs> uh, fucking just casually holding that up. <laughs> By the way, I used to be through my dick. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jody's jewelry. Yup. Oh. Yeah, I've got the larger one in right now. Just, you know, just goes just through it and oh, uh, once it's done, it's not that bad. You just ordered a piercing kit to do your ears. Good on you, Caleb. I like the DIY attitude. I think we, you know, uh, Viva, nope. <laughs> uh, thank you, Kaiser. Um, Kaiser, inquiring minds do want to know, though. Um, feel free to just tell me to fuck off, though. Um, how's, how is the mom? Is it bad, bad? Or is it just... Oh, shit, she's in the hospital. Um... I remember back when having two piercings in the ears was taboo. I remember who the fuck it was that the gay side was the left side here in the U.S. or something today. Um, this is the night show. There's no topic. Get a fucking joint in your hand and and get with the program. Um, yeah, I forget wh which side it was. I think it was the left side was the gay side. Oh, okay. All right. That's recoverable then. Uh, well, that's good. 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 
she'll she'll receive the care she needs. She'll be fine, pro- more than likely. So, um, left was cool, right was gay. I, I, dude, I don't even remember. I don't, I don't even remember. But I am of that generation. I am of that generation. Um, but yeah, yeah, we were. Um, I heard it both ways. Yeah, Beast is saying it's region dependent. Rex is saying right was gay. <laughs> right side was gay here in the 90s hence why I only have left side pierced um just put, fair enough just put it in both so you can see both are cool and gay um Chapo says I have three in the left two on the right Dodos is unraised well then you're you're like you're double ultra gay or something you're a super queer um Astral Chapo beat you to it uh <laughs> Oh, uh, I am considering doing more, um, but you know, working out it makes it difficult. Um, fucking, you know, it's it's difficult to get a proper workout in, get a proper leg day in when you're, um, you know, when your fucking taint is healing, or your ball sack is healing, or your fucking the underside of your dick is healing, you know. So, yeah. When I get it, when I get up to the size I want to be, probably, then I'll probably take some time off and, you know, do some more body modification. Uh, James Franco, occasionally I get Tony Hawk more than James Franco, but both are interesting people. I'd prefer to be Tony, um, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, super Queero. You're going for 10 mil gauges in each ear to hang your headphones on um i'm shooting for a um let me uh, do the math conversion here uh, to the mills because there we go um I'm shooting for, uh, <laughs> Caleb, um, I, I'm shooting for, uh, an eight mil, um, somewhere between an eight and a 10 mil, um, for, uh, for, you know, <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm shooting for probably a zero long term. Um, that's sort of where I'm, it's eight to 10 mil, something in the zero double zero range is what I'm shooting for. So, the, the gauge size that you're probably going to do for your ear. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh, I'd probably get, uh, in addition to, um, that in addition to Chapo, I'd probably get like a ladder and or like a couple of like geesh, uh, uh, geesh piercings. Yeah. Um, also I have some interesting ideas for some tattoos, but that's further down the line as well. <clears throat> Aspen, damn, that's as big as my gauge my ears. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a little hefty piece of metal for sure. Um, but why not? Why not? Um, all right, so we talked about that. All we talked about that. All we did the tier list. I'm gonna hit another bowl. Asp- SS Aspen. Eh, we could do that actually. We could do that. We could um, re-engage the smoke machine. How long has it been? Two hours. Yeah, why not? Fuck you, beast. <laughs> <laughs> I got like thousands of dollars in front of me. <laughs> I can't do a spit take, man. For those of you who don't know what Beast just said, bust out the spoon is a reference to a conversation we were having over VC in which we were, we eventually got onto the topic of 
genital uh, genital tattoos, and um, I I volunteered some photos of some um, male genital tattoos, <laughs> and um, then explained from what I understand from um, pier- uh, tattoo uh, tattoo and piercing guys um, how they actually accomplish those tattoos. Um, and it is very much taking the male member and stretching it over a spoon or a spoon-like surface and tattooing on it because it's so squishy and cartilaginous. You need to sort of like mash it out. And so, yeah, they stretch it over a spoon and tattoo on it. Uh, well, those were fun pictures in VC. Yes, they were. Uh so, here? Somewhere? I No, there's no story. Um, Axel, um, yeah, um, the circumcised have an easier time with the tattoo piercing than the uncircumcised. <clears throat> um, never get a tattoo there. It sounds very painful. It actually is. It's not, it's not the, um, it's not the most painful tattoo you can get. Um, yeah, there's there's more painful tattoos than that. Um, anything on bone, dude. The rib cage alone. Anything, anything down the flank, dude. That's rough. That's rough. Scalp, flank. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Feet are bad, dude. Top of the foot, but also like bottom of the feet. Which I've seen full foot tattoos, like full foot. Hundred percent legal tobacco. <coughs> oh yeah, palms. You have a tramp stamp. <coughs> I felt like a cheese grater peeling my skin. Looks good though. Oh wait, I can't see it. <coughs> Uh, Joe, the stuff on my chest hurt, but it was manageable. Um, oh, Jesus, Kaiser. Just, oh, God. <laughs> it's just, just everything about that Kaiser just made me fucking just repulse. Ugh. Good luck, though, you cute, adorable, young queer. Uh, your first tattoo was the palm of your hand? What are you fucking psycho- Oh, wait, you are fucking psychotic. Never mind. I was about to ask. Aspen, thank you for emoting for me, Kai. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I read that, I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Does anyone have a face tat? I talked about this the other night. I actually, uh, I, I really like right here for a tattoo. Um, Yeah, like yeah, like right there. I've always thought is a really, uh, just an att- aesthetically pleasing spot for a tattoo for me. Let me be happy. Hey, we we said be happy. Enjoy it. You adorable young queer. Enjoy your romance and shit like that. Don't let our jaded old uh, fucking queer asses ruin it for you. But it is disgusting. Um... <clears throat> you weirdos in your pain fetish. Um... I would if it didn't make me very conspicuous as Aspen. Uh, fucking Caleb, I will have face tats eventually. Um, you want white tribal work on your face? Jesus. <laughs> it's something like a spade right there. Mm, Jesus Christ. Joe. Uh, what is this? <laughs> Um. Okay, first off, oh, because it's a queen. Sp- all right, so, God, you fucking, you fucking, you people are weird. All right, let me just put it that way. You fucking f- f- Euro stand fucking UK people are so goddamn weird. All right, so the Tories can g- confirm conversion therapy ban won't cover trans people or consenting adults, and then there's a photo of this motherfucker. Like that's, that's, dude, that's, that's what I'm like, I'm reading the headline and I scroll down. And I'm like, what? And then I realized wh- queen, it's probably from the queen's speech bullshit and the queen didn't attend the weirdo old guy attended. And so like, yeah, like Jesus fucking Christ. Um, Um, 
so, I mean, that tracks. That tracks. Um, I still have trouble understanding the House of Lords is a, uh, is a thing. Dude, we have the Senate. Um, I feel like with tattoos, one should go somewhat safe and do things that they sh wouldn't regret. Uh, Ch Chapo, yes, but also no. Um, yes. Yeah, you definitely, like, for your first few tattoos, don't go with a face tattoo, you know? But if you're if you're about that life, right? Like, if you're a grown-ass adult and you made your fucking bed and you, you've decided to, you want to sleep in it, that it's not just an uncomfortable bed for you, but you, you're like, I like it like this. You do you, boo. You do you. Um... <laughs> Excel. Excel. Oh, Excel. <laughs> uh, yeah, but the Lords are mostly an inherited job. At least the Senate has some amount of democracy. <laughs> You're so funny, Excel. Oh. <laughs> your my standards are low. Your standards are your standards are fucking last call low. <laughs> Fucking the bars emptying out, motherfuckers are on the street, and you're fucking getting a hand job around the corner. Standards low. <laughs> Respect. Uh. He just loves being next to that crown, <laughs> staring out of Crow's eye. Dude, the crown, dude, the crown thing is so weird. The fact that they transported the crown with like a three-car cavalcade fucking parade of fucking whatever, like just to transport the crown. <laughs> you know you've lost the plot, right? That's stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. That is fucking goofy ass shit. That you know you've lost the plot entirely when you're like, there's yeah, there's three cars transporting the crown. <laughs> you're like, is she going to be there to meet the crown? Oh, no, she's not going. It's going in her stead. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you dumb motherfuckers. Jesus Christ, that's some stupid, goofy-ass shit. a shiny hat get over it i know right it's a shiny hat that could feed and house and clothe a bunch of people like that shiny ass hat is worth a lot of fucking money <laughs> fucking in that photo of him sitting in that stupid hey mcsecular um oh thank you for the gift sub oh jesus christ secular um fuck <laughs> Oh, uh, and that is the stupidest fucking shit. You'd have to tear it down, though. Otherwise, good luck fencing that shit. Um, I mean, they could just sell it themselves. Dude, are you kidding me? The crown of England? Look, nothing comes with it. It is purely the crown. We are giving away no sovereignty. The house is releasing the, the object. We are selling it to the highest bidder. Dude. Elon Musk wants that crown. A hundred percent. You're going to, whoever's bidding is going to be bidding against the richest people in the world. Oil sheiks want that crown, right? Like if you sold that crown legally, dude, that crown would fetch stupid money. Stupid money. Uh, the crown jewels, crown orb, and scepter are estimated to be worth $4 billion with an official valuation of priceless, says Che. Exactly. Dude, it, yeah, that shit is worth stupid money. It's, it's Jesus Christ. He'd have to fight easy for it. <laughs> You're right. He'd want it too. He'd want it too. For sure he'd put a bid in on it. Oh my God. He'd put a bid, a bid on it. <clears throat> Oh, dude, just look at the people that would crawl out of the woodwork to get their hands on that crown.
Cullinan 1, still the largest polished white diamond in the world, weighing 530.2 carats and is positioned on top of the Sovereign Scepter, while Cullinan 2 is, uh, uh, which uh, weighs 317.4 carats, is set at the front of the Imperial State Crown. The diamond was stolen from an Indian king. You know, not stolen. Taken in trade for delivery of services. Um, you know, yeah, yeah, that's, that's all. They brought civilization to their shores and in, in trade for, for all of this technology of ideas, a few things may have been expropriated. That's all. They were taken in lieu of pay other forms of payment. Hey, stolen or not, we stole it, we keep it. That's the, the English way, says Caleb. Yes, it is. Do y'all motherfuckers, y'all got a lot of people's shit. Too many UK politicians believe they need... Do they... Like, I think you were just joking, Che. Do people actually... Like, that's really a... F people really, like, we brought them the, r the railroads, so... The railways, so they owe us the fuck... Yeah. Jesus Christ. That's amazing. I didn't even think anybody would... Buy that. I love this entire little side conversation that's going on here, by the way. Yeah, very old school imperialism, right, Beast? Like, classic. It's like Coke, fucking Coke classic up in this bitch for imperialism. <clears throat> oh, you got that wrong. In the 905, the Cullen and Diamond named the chairman of the mine where it was found was discovered in Pretoria. The human diamond was sold to South African uh, trans, uh, Transvaal Val Colony for 194000 in, wait, 1905? Jesus. Um, the stone was gifted to the king for his birthday. Hey, that, so that stone wasn't stolen. I mean, South African, right? Okay, so it's, it's, it's just a couple, it's a degree off stolen, that's all. <clears throat> it's like all the American artifacts. We're like, hey, we bought it from the thief. We didn't steal it ourselves. Um, No joke, multiple politicians are on record as making an argument in Parliament. Oh, fucking A, so it's on the official record. That our treatment of the former Raj is fine because we gave them railways. That's like one of our Congress uh, Congress people getting up or a senator getting up and saying on the official congressional record that like, you know, the black people didn't have it that bad. We did give them, how, you know, a roof over their head. It's fucking crazy. Christ. Oh my god, that's insane. The hell of a diamond. I mean... Jesus Christ, is he a fucking specimen? But, I mean, that's... Dude, that's a fucking fist. The hell of a diamond. Uh. Look, everything is stolen if you look hard enough. We like the shinies. We now own the shinies. <laughs> it's very English of you. For crown and country. Or for queen and country or whatever the fuck it is. Uh, that dude is his own artifact. All right. <clears throat> Knowing Your Roots is a favorite show of mine. Dude, Sunrise. Um, I actually just watched the Knowing Your Roots for Jack Whitehall um, last night. Um, and his ancestor is a posh fucking douchebag who tries to put down a just uprising and spends his life tormenting a man who was on the right side of history. <laughs> Straight up. He's the villain in the story. Their ancestor is the villain of the story. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a good one. Um, yeah. <laughs> the, the end is so 
the end is good. The end is good. Yeah, it's Sunrise. We'll give it a watch. It's like it's worth. Like there's like nine and a half minutes of it on um, White uh, on Jack Whitehall's on YouTube channel that tells the story pretty effectively. <laughs> so if you just want to compress it down, go to his fucking YouTube channel. And yeah, my favorite is um, Anderson Cooper over for us over here. The best clip I think in all of those sorts of shows. <laughs> Just, just the best. Finding out his ancestor was beaten to death by a slave, by a runaway slave with a garden implement. And his response is, good. <laughs> That's his go-to. It's like, yeah, good. Yeah. He said, good. It, it's like, there. That's what it looks like, folks. Who gives a shit? Yeah, my ancestor was a slaver piece of shit. Oh, and he died at the hands of a runaway slave with a fucking garden hoe. <laughs> Fuck that guy. But what I what I'm gonna give a shit about him just because he's my great 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 great, great, great grandpappy? Fuck that guy. He got what he deserved. Yeah, man said, let's go. Joe, oh I remember that. Yeah, no, it's it's a brilliant episode. It's like, yeah, your fucking ancestor is the villain of the story, and he got put down by a runaway slave with a garden hoe. Yeah. That motherfucker got what he deserved. Mm, interesting cupcake. Oh, I need to talk to Alex about that. Oh, the hose killed him. Hose defo man. Yeah. <laughs> now who's the ho now who's the hoe? Yeah, I figured that would kick off a few a few hoe comments for sure. <laughs> Good thing you guys waited till my great great grandmother was born before killing him. Eh. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, the Jack, High, uh, Jack Whitehall one is fucking... Because he just gets progressively, like, more morose about it as time goes on. That he, as he's realizing that, like, oh, my ancestor is a douchebag. He's a snitch. My ancestor's, like, the worst kind of person. And as he's sort of, like, taking this on board and getting more and more morose about each leg of the journey and learning more, it's like... Ah, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Um, okay. Don't know why that was tagged to me. <sighs> Makes me curious to get a DNA test now. Um, don't ask me. I don't know. Um, she. <clears throat> oh, I wanted to read this. Do we have this video? Because I, I wanted to like... Apparently this dude like <sighs> Okay, so Senator Steve Daines, Montana Republican, went took to the Senate floor yesterday now, um, Tuesday, to pit the human race against turtles. I, I okay, so here's his let me get you the, the visual aid that he put up. I, I don't I, I don't know. Um, but I want to hear the comments. Like, I want to hear what he was talking about. Um, this, this is, this is literally the poster. There's a poster board of this on the Senate floor today with a fucking, I, 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 I don't, I don't, don't know. So yeah. Uh, give me a second. Oh, it's an endangered species fucking uh, analogy. It's, a, it's an endangered species uh, reference. 
<clears throat> he's basically saying that, like, why do we have laws in place to protect endangered species and not laws in place to protect the unborn human? It's white, it's white replacement theory. It's, it's literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is his comments. I'm, I'm reading his comments. That's that. Yeah. It, it's, it's a subtle dog. It's a dog whistle for white replacement theory. That's yeah. Can we positively confirm he is not shredder or being paid off by shredder? No, we cannot. No, we cannot. Unfortunately, um, here he is uh, delivering his uh, speech about endangered species laws versus human births. <clears throat> Foot Clan confirmed. We have over 8 billion in climbing. We don't need more babies. Elephants are endangered. Yeah, I know. That fucking... Dude, it's white replacement theory. It's literally a dog whistle for white replacement theory. On the Senate floor. Good, good. Good, good. Oh, uh, It's officially um, illegal to be homeless on public land in Tennessee, by the way. It's a felony. It's a felony to be homeless on public land in Tennessee now. Yeah. The moment you go to sleep. Yeah. It's, 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 it's camp camping, right? For lack of a better term. <clears throat> yeah. It's a felony now in Tennessee to, to be unhoused and to attempt to sleep on public land in any capacity. If you you can sleep on public land, you can go camping on public land if you have a residence. If you do not have a primary residence and you're camping on public land, it is a felony in Tennessee. Oh, yeah, Sunrise. Dude, they were trying to get rid of the, like, age of consent for fucking, like, marriage. They were trying to make it so that anybody at any age, like, I think the previous age was something like, you know, 16 or some bullshit like that. They were trying to eliminate that. They wanted, like, Tennessee was actively trying to get, like, nines and, 9 and 12-year-olds married. Yeah, just, just a moment ago when they received national coverage for it and everybody just took them over the fucking coals, then, then they, they backed down. The, like, the guy, the, the Republican, of course, that was attempting to get that passed, fucking changed the language on it. That it included some, like, you know, common, uh, common agreed upon law, you know, common agreed upon age of the land or some shit like that. Some vague fucking nonsense language. <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're ch Tennessee is all about the child marriage and all about the felony homelessness also the abortion bans as well you know theocracy in general <clears throat> conservatives wake up every morning choosing violence they do uh so tennessee's gonna try and be the first nazi land no no there's i mean there's worse in our country than that sunrise it is it is a nice place to avoid tennessee is actually gorgeous <clears throat> It's, a, it's Tennessee's amazing. It's got a ton of really good food and interesting culture and ties to the indigenous and even the settlers. And I know settlers a terrible word in leftist communities, but like it's history, right? There's the, the Smoky Mountains. It's a gorgeous part of the country. And it's a shithole. You probably shouldn't go there. <clears throat> Dollywood. 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 And yes, yes, sirree. It is there most assuredly. <clears throat> I 
Good on him. Uh, do you, like, go away? Alright, there we go. They have a bunch of shit to do. <clears throat> it's a really interesting place, too. One of the, oh, one of the roller coasters. <clears throat> it's, it's literally the, the whole park is like woven into the mountain. It's it's actually like integrated into the ecosystem. <clears throat> Nine states have no official minimum age, but still require parental consent, court of court approval, or both. California, Massachusetts, Michigan, Mississippi, New Mexico, Oklahoma, West Virginia, Washington, and Wyoming. But other than that, the lowest official is Alaska at age 14. Later, Chavo. <clears throat> um, thought cops in Tennessee can take your money if you, can, if you carry it. Uh, yeah, that's civil asset forfeiture, and that's the entirety of the country, actually. Um, yes. No, no, no. Yeah, that's Sunrise. That's that's a hundred percent. Like that's real. That's that's civil asset forfeiture, and that's not just in Tennessee. That's all over the nation. In fact, a California sheriff um, just had to um, it like say that his um, uh, his deputies would stop robbing armed truck uh, um, 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 armored trucks of like that carry cash. See, in California. What what one sheriff figured out um, was that since it's still technically drug money and illegal at the federal level, if you get one DEA represent, representative to authorize the raid, which you can do, what then happens is the money goes to the federal government, but the federal government gives something like an 80% cut back to the local police who confiscated the funds. And so one California sheriff figured out that they could just rob the armored trucks that carry the cash for the pot stores after they picked up the cash from the pot store. And so, yeah, they would literally pull the uh, pull the like Brinks truck over to the side of the road after it stopped at a cannabis dispensary and they would civil asset forfeiture all of the cash. The, there was a sheriff's department in California up until only like yesterday sort of thing that was actively committing highway robbery. Yeah. Yeah, that's how fucking crazy it is in the U.S. Oh, yeah, he's running again, too. He's on the ballot right now. Jesus Christ, beast. <laughs> um... Oh, Lord, we're fucked. We're fucked. Yeah. I forget. Did I? I'm I was looking. I don't think I... I thought I grabbed it. Mm, why is that not? There we go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
Oh, it looks like they caught on elsewhere. Look at this. Yeah, fucking um, non-binary shared this. This is Kansas City. What'd they get? A buck sixty-five out of one? Not bad. Um, this is looks like the idea spread. The California dude's been doing it so long that the Justice Department's involved in that one. Um, San Bernardino. Um, yeah, but it looks like the idea spread. Mm, look at that. Oh, the parasites on the underbelly of society are uh, <clears throat> passing information on to one another. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it should be fe federally legal, but I mean, there's so, so many hands in so many pockets at this point. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, oh no, they're learning. I know, right? That's that's the problem. They're learning, man. They're learning. See, they can learn. <laughs> you just have to incentivize them with $165,000 a pop. Yeah. Great. I'm sure that'll turn out well for the rest of us. Um, over there. Oh, yes. Um, you see Ukraine's um, um, uh, war goals have changed. Uh, per the foreign minister, uh, Kuleba or whatever his fucking name is, um, <clears throat> he said, quote, the picture of victory has shifted from full uh, to uh, the picture of victory has shifted to full liberation of territories from Russian occupation. That includes Crimea. What did I say at the beginning of this fucking goofy ass war? That this war was going to end up with fucking Ukraine taking territory. That shit's gonna, about to happen. Ukraine is going to end up with more land than when they started this war. When, well, when Russia started this war. That's going to be, that's going to be how this plays out for real. Ukraine is going to have more tanks than when they started. They're going to have more land than when they started. They're going to have more fucking... This is ridiculous. This is the goofiest fucking war in my life. Uh, and... I could have sworn. Or is that on? Hold on. Yeah, okay. Whoops. All right. Next week's war goals, Moscow, Papa John, take Moscow. Oh, fucking pretty much simultaneously. Putin claims to have been gearing up for Odessa and uh, Transnistria. Uh, I, for two said, I wish them as much. Um... Let's see. Jeez, doesn't make up for the dead and the thousand stolen children, though. Dude, yeah. I know, right? Exo uh, oh, Moldova. Okay. Uh, apparently the Ukrainians... Yeah, oh, yeah, they have more tanks than the British now, courtesy of Putin. And we're arming the fuck out of them. Um, hang on. I have uh, I have the list. Dude, the, the fucking... What, what the Pentagon has agreed to provide uh, to, uh, to Ukraine... Dude, I have the list. Wait, they 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 published it. Dude, this is this is like getting a Red Bull sponsorship. Honestly, this is like getting a Red Bull sponsorship. As far as like military gear, like, you know, this is somebody just rolled in and said, "What do you need?" We have agreed to provide them over 1,400 Stinger anti-aircraft -air systems, 5,500 Javelin anti-armor systems, 14,000 other anti-armor systems, 700 Switchblade tactical unmanned aerial systems, 90 155 mil howitzers, over 200,000 155 mil artillery rounds, 72 tactical vehicles to tow the howitzers, 16 MI, uh, MI-17 helicopters, Hundreds of armored high mobility multi purpose wheeled vehicles. So, armored vehicles. Fucking, those are like MRAPs and shit. 200 M113 armored personnel carriers. Over 7,000 small arms. Over 50 million rounds of ammunition. 
75,000 sets of body armor and helmets, 121 Phoenix Ghost tactical unmanned aerial systems, laser guided rocket systems, Puma unmanned aerial systems, unmanned coastal defense vessels, 17 counter artillery radars, uh, radars four counter mortar radars, two air surveillance radars, and uh, M18A1 Claymore anti-personnel munitions, C4 explosives and demo equipment for obstacle clearing, tactical secure comm systems, night vision, thermal, optics, laser range finders, commercial satellite imagery surfaces, explosive ordnance disposal, protective gear, uh, CBRN uh, protective equipment, medical supplies, electronic jamming equipment, and field equipment and spare parts for all of them. The military industrial complex just that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And we're footing the bill. We're footing the bill. Yeah. That one's just courtesy of us. Yeah, we did. We just built them a new army. Well, like, here you go. Here's a, here's here's like your starter army in a pack. Oh yeah, yeah, they are. They're losing hard to the open source intelligence community. Uh Caleb, for sure. Dude, that I said that at the top of it that like um it's this is a war in modern Europe, right? Like it's dude, there's cell phones everywhere. This isn't the, the mountains of Afghanistan. There's like cell phone coverage. Like that's you can just get a signal. And so, yeah, dude, there's there's plenty of video coming out of it. It's absolutely absurd. This is the craziest shit I've seen in my life. <clears throat> Yes, and any Russian military equipment, yeah, Che, is, is seized by Ukrainian citizens, citizens, exempt from taxes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I would like one army to go, please. <laughs> one army, please, to go. It, that's basically what that is. Yeah, for real. It's it's the craziest shit. We're just like, here you go. Package it up. <laughs> Jesus Christ, non binary. He would do that kind of fucking weekend warrior wannabe motherfucker ain't setting foot in an active war zone, non binary. Uh, I have a friend who went over there for aid work. He came back with so many bladed articles. It's dumb. Um, if you buy this starter pack, you'll get a blue eyes white dragon to go with your stinger missile. But does that come with a shiny too? I know I'm mixing properties. <laughs> Don't bother packing. I'll use it right away. Um, yeah. Uh, we'll get right on that. <laughs> Fucking not binary. Um, I I didn't even bother talking to this person. Strovogard, which by the way, already your name makes me question things. Uh, that's that's what I was going to ask Aspen. Aspen got right there as I was fucking sliding in. Aspen just fucking touched that base. What does what does winning a war look like to you? What does winning look like? You're setting up a, per, a win condition parameter, but we need to query your win condition via social media video reporting from individual nodes within a network observed by an indi, uh, by in, observed by a third party observer such as yourself. What does winning a war look like? Especially when the war is still engaged. Remember, we're not talking in the future tense. We're talking in the present tense. What does winning a war look like? Um, hey, thank you from someone. Thank you kindly. Oh, let's see. 
Somebody left a message. <laughs> uh, I don't know who that is. In the message. It's not the person who, but yeah. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the, uh, the coffee though. Ah, McSecular. Okay. Thank you, McSecular. It's when you gather all the Dragon Balls. Fair enough. Uh, Russia certainly isn't winning. Winning looks like fighter jets using, uh, using Tom Toms. Oh my God. Dude, that is, that it was, that was, that was hilarious. Um... The, the, that wasn't, um, that wasn't their old, cause that is, that has been done before. Okay. So for you guys who just don't know what I'm fucking babbling about, one of the newest production planes from Russia was shot down and there was a fucking, like a handheld, like a, G, a, a car GPS duct taped to the fucking console of it. This isn't like some Soviet era production plane that didn't have a GPS receiver in it. This is a, their newest gear. And they had like a Garmin or a Tom Tom fucking duct tape to the goddamn center console. Like this, some ghetto ass shit. Like, I, I, I don't even know how to fuck. Yeah, somebody knocked one of those out of the fucking sky. And there's footage of the wreckage. And you're like, why is there a fucking... GP, a consumer GPS unit duct taped to the fucking plane. It was a Tom Tom. I have the same one. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's a consumer fucking GPS unit duct taped to the fucking Russian plane. Like, holy shit, man. That ain't winning. MacGyver GPS. Fucking, yeah, that ain't, dude, whatever winning looks like, it doesn't look like fucking duct tape. Yes. Joe, yes, for real. Fucking, it is. Did some ghetto ass shit. See if I can find you the fucking thing. Okay, so it's happened more than once. It's happened more than once. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, yeah, it's their SU-34 fucking, yeah, I, I, I've I got probably the same, yes, I have the same one up on my side monitor already. So, links in chat, links in chat. Yeah, so this has happened more than once. This is their newest gear, by the way. Their newest gear. Yeah, their TV. Oh, yeah, their TV's got hacked. Dude, they got fucking... Dude, Russia's not winning. I don't know what the fuck it looks like, but... Did, um... I'm, I'm guessing Dummy McGee just hit and ran. Um... With the use uh, with with the U.S. out of Afghanistan, I'd expect the military industrial complex to be on the lookout for the next decades long conflict rather than Ukraine gaining ground. I expect the goal of support to be a stalemate insurgency. How long do you think it'll last? No, no, Russia, dude, uh, uh, Z1, um, Russia can't support this. Economically, they can't support this. Um, demographically, they can't support this. Russia was already facing a demographical um, near collapse. Japan's facing a demographical collapse. Um, but Russia was already facing a, a demographical uh, um, like downtrend. They've already thrown a million lives at this. They can't afford to do this. Demographically, economically, Russia can't do this. Um, if this is a war of attrition, the rest of the world is supporting Ukraine. Like Ukraine is essentially not... Like, they can just go. Russia can't. Russia can't keep doing this. This isn't something. This isn't the fucking... This isn't 86. Russia can't maintain this for much longer. So, yeah. Look for something to change. 
look for something to change. Yeah, this would, dude, yeah, this was a Hail Mary to start with for Russia. Yeah, beast, perfect language. Yeah, this was 100% a Hail Mary for Russia to start with. <clears throat> they needed those ports. They needed those ports. They needed that access to the ocean, and now they're about to lose like what little they had anyway. It's, dude, this was, this was an utter Hail Mary by Putin, and it has backfired spectacularly. Uh, Papa John, basically they don't have the right amount of people in the right age ranges to keep society going. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, the productive generation is dead. And there's, there's a whole host of things we've gone through them before, but basically rolling back from the Soviet era, <clears throat> the Russian Federation failed to institute a number of programs that the, the Soviets actually did really well that maintained their infrastructure and sort of the, um, uh, the, the overall societal infrastructure. And as a result of the loss of the apprenticeship journeyman programs, in addition to a whole bunch of um, forced retirements and uh, sh uh, manipulation of retirement ages to age out the population, um, from government work and uh, that came in under the Russian Federation. There's just a whole host of variables. Basically, they drove out all the old knowledge um, that has basically gone and they don't have a replacement population of significant size and or knowledge base at this point. And the Russian uh, economy and the Russian education system has been training people to operate and work in specific ways and not in the ways that they actually need to, to perpetuate their society. And so now they're having to roll upon, rely upon outsourcing and external, um, expertise to be brought in. And so, yeah, Russia is facing a demographical slide in addition to now a really overtaxed economy. Um, yeah, so. <clears throat> yeah, now they're tossing all their young men at Ukraine, like the geniuses that they are. Um. The smaller country winning the attrition war because they're the only ones with friends is fucking hilarious. I think uh, I think a bunch of us know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. They've been conscripting for a while. Young men from ethnic minorities, mind you. I've seen I've seen some fucking Russian, like, you know, quintessentially. I don't know. What is the ethnic majority for Russia? What, what the fuck should I be calling those pale ass looking motherfuckers? What are they? What's the ethnic majority for Russia? Um, hook a brother up. Potato. It's a potato. <laughs> it's a potato. Um, so yeah, no, they're, they're, they're absolutely stymied. Mean, I think, I believe it's just Russian. <laughs> Fucking, we got two votes for potato. No, nope, it looks like democracy has taken it. It's there. There, the ethnic majority of Russia is now potato. Um, the people have spoken. The people have spoken. Um, <laughs> Wikipedia says seventy-seven percent potato. Got it. Um. <laughs> just facts. I know, right? Just facts. Thanks for the follow, man. Uh, oh, welcome to the night show, by the way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, for twos. No, for twos. Uh, so, let's see. Um, we talked about that. We talked about that. I don't know if we can talk about that. I, I, I don't I don't think we can talk about that actually. Um Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think that falls within TOS. Um <clears throat> As of 2010, ethnic groups in Russia, 77.7% potatoes, 8.42% Turkic, 4.9% uh, Caucasus, uh, Caucasian, 1.59% uh, Finnic, interesting, 1.35% Ukrainian, 2.09% other, 3.94% no answer. Okay, so, you know, 
at beast, it's not me being able to abstract the topic. It's y'all. Your reaction to the topic is what I'm actually concerned about. Not my ability to educationally abstract the topic. I, I know I could do it. I just know what you motherfuckers are going to have to say about it. Um, and that for sure is going to be a bunch of TOS shit. So. I'm a French Viking. Hmm, fair enough. No, you can't use potatoes. We already use that for Germans. Why are the Germans called potatoes? I mean, if anybody, the Irish, right? Like, what? Why are y'all calling? Why are y'all calling fucking Germans potatoes over there? That one doesn't make sense. Was there some European shit that I don't know? Wait, what, what's? Was there some European history that I'm not aware of? Either way. All right. <clears throat> I mean, there's lots of places that consume a lot of potatoes. And welcome. Deutschland, Deutschland. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Germans are sausages. Germans are krauts. Like, it's, it's sauerkraut or sausages. That's That's Germans. Like, if we're doing, like, stereotypical ethnic slur sort of territory, right? For us, Germans are, are yeah, either krauts or, like, sausages or something, right? Yeah. Foreigners in Germany called German potatoes. That's weird. All right. If you people behave, we'll talk about, um... <clears throat> Boo. Boo. Boo, I say, caboose. Boo, I say. Um, so an anti-abortion office in Wisconsin was firebombed. Um, and it is, it has been taking credit for, um, there, there is already a group that has stepped forward and stated that they are responsible for this. They have released a manifesto. Um, yes. It has officially started. Um, <clears throat> the high temperature exothermic redux reactions have begun. So they call themselves Jane's Revenge. Um, if anybody wants to read it, it will be available. Um, but it is generally the declaration that you probably already assume it to be. Um, yes. Uh, cupcake. That's the entire intent. That's the entire intent. I. It's no, no. They they want fear. This is terrorism. Definitionally speaking, it is. It falls under the umbrella of. And the intent is fear. But to fear something, you have to know to fear it. You have to see it as a viable threat. That's what this is. This is a threat. This is a threat made very loud. It's something, something war on terror. <clears throat> so, yes, they have... They have released their demands. Um, oh, Alex, I have, um, we'll, we'll quickly pivot away from this topic so we can all whew, deep breath, deep breath. Um, 
we'll just we'll slowly Homer Simpson our way off of this one. Um, thank you, Alex. Alex, I need a word. I need a word. And I'm sick of all of this uterus haver people who can get pregnant nonsense bullshit phraseology. I need a word. Once upon a time, I could say that a woman gets pregnant. Times change. Understandings change. I'm fine with that. Who do I refer to as the people who can get pregnant? I want a word. Now, we came up with a word on on Discord last night. You may not approve of the word, but we came up with a word. <laughs> we went with incubator. Uh, <laughs> it was like a dozen people involved in that. Uh, incubator. What we elected. Sunrays. Seems good. <laughs> I need a word. I need a word. Birther was also tossed around. Yeah, that's got fucking ties. Parasite oven. Um, you could also use host because fetus is a parasite. It's literally the best we could think of was incubator. Uh, the birther thing is attached to like Obama and the whole birth certificate thing. Good, good call for two. Good for, uh, guilty. <laughs> Damn it, Obama. Yeah, but McSecular, that's my problem. Is I, I need I need a word. If I'm talking about the people who can get pregnant, I need a word for the people who can get pregnant. I, I'm not saying I'm not saying fertile XX like, like chromosome people shit, right? Like I'm, I, I want a word. I want a word. Yeah, I want yeah. Uterus haver is the most awkward phrasing ever, and it has a horrible mouth feel. So, <laughs> in wombed, in wombed, holy shit, ca caboose, in wombed, pregs. The uterus. Oh, that's, that's awful to say, too. The impregnables. <laughs> oh. You're gay. That's why uterus haver feels wrong in your mouth. Ooh. You're too far in there. If you're all, if you got your mouth on a uterus, holy shit, homie. <laughs> you're in there deep. Did you take scuba gear? Um, I like the impregnables. <laughs> um, th there is no topic. Dude, Alex, it's a late show, man. It's a late show. I'm fucking Aspen and I are a couple of bowls in at this point. Ah, uh, fallopian tube vessel. Try uh, sunrise. Try control F five and give it a, a proper refresh. No comment, but I'm lesbian, so well, yeah, but homie, I mean, that's pretty far in there. Takes the term tongue punching to a whole new level. All right, so I'm going within the impregnables. Uh, I'm going with impregnable. No, nah, that's that's what that's a fucking or incubator, dude. Incubator may actually be the go-to. By the way, when I'm having a conversation with some of these my baby fucking people, the the bibble, the bibble, the bibble is the baby, the bibble is the baby. Fucking when I'm having this conversation with these idiots, I'll fucking probably default to incubator. But um, impregnables works for me too. Sun rays. Thanks for the sub. Do it on their fucking coffee next time. Uh, fuck Amazon and give the give the streamer a larger cut. Um, all right. Yeah, I'll take impregnable and th that works. Those that it, that those that are impregnable. Um, those that are. Let's see. Uh, Sunrays, are you on the Discord server? J 
gestational. Hmm. Gestational. I actually may take that. Like, that's the technical term. Gestation is the, the act of carrying young in the uterus, so gestational. Impregnable. Impregnable makes us sound like superheroes. Oh, well, the, I, I asked Sunrays because there's resources about your complaint on the Discord server. Um, the people who decide to get an abortion, the Terminators, 100%. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the only reason I ask. Oh, another one passed the welcome screen. Um, oh, thank you. This church, this, there was a story at the top about the shirt. Oh, I know the aristocrats. Um, I for one loved M. Night Shyamalan Milana, Ding Dong's impregnable. Yes, yeah, Caboose. Uh, oh, Jesus. All right, now you're all just talking about fucking sci-fi and fantasy over there with chimeras and shit. I don't, I don't need to be out there. So y'all see they fucking passed that, that uh, fucking law? Real right quick fast. Holy shit. Protecting the extending the same protection to the Supreme Court fucking justices family as sent as senators families get past that overnight. Fucking one day of protests on these motherfuckers lawn. One day. They met next day. They got a fucking law, uh, a law getting pushed through, giving them the same protections as senators families get. Mm hmm. Oh, we have to we have to take our time and do our due diligence. It takes it takes time and patience to craft law. Mm-hmm. I Alex, I know that. Fuck it. Uh but yes. These motherfuckers. I swear to God. All that tells me is that motherfuckers' lawn needs to be like done. Gestational is the Joker phase of gestational. Nice. Um, snowflakes. Yeah, right? Um, all I know is that that tells me that no Supreme Court justice should get peace for the rest of their life. Just ruin their world. Everywhere they go. Because they're used to flying under the cover. Supreme Court justices aren't used to this kind of heat. They're not politicians of the same caliber as Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell doesn't give a fuck. Right? Fucking these motherfuckers, though, they like their quiet lives. Yeah, you need to just ruin their fucking lives. Just everywhere they go. Everywhere they go. They're fucking... Dude, I'd be protest protesting outside their kids' school. Public property. Oh, but their children should be left out of it. Hmm, no. Other people's kids aren't being left out of it. Fucking this shit's this shit's truly personal. This shit's about us physically. This is about a bodily autonomy. You can go fuck yourself. I'm going to make it so there is so much pressure on you from every angle. Right? Every single place they go. I don't want to ever have I don't want a single Supreme Court justice to ever have a peaceful meal out again. Their children probably go to private school, though. Fine. Right outside the private school on public property. Don't care. Oh, Microsoft's going to pay for people's abortions. <clears throat> um, Microsoft's going to pay for employees' abortions. Yeah. Uh, Microsoft's on the bandwagon. They're like, yeah, uh, as an employer, who the, not a small employer either, by the way. Um, you might have heard of them before. Small company called Microsoft. Um, 
they're uh, they've they've already stated that if their employees need health care, they'll be providing it. I was listening to a podcast that described their shit as political astral space. Welcome back to uh, welcome back to Earth, pals. Yeah, exactly. They need to be reinvolved in the process. Oh yeah, unionize the shit out of Microsoft. Unionize the shit out of all of them. The entire tech industry, dude. The tech industry needs its own union. Like, with, there needs to be like a, a like a proper tech union, not this communications bullshit. We we often get wrapped into like the communications union and shit like that. Dude, there needs to be like a programmers union. There needs to be a graphic designers union. There needs to be a fucking dude. There needs to be tech unions, straight up. It'd be even more based as if Microsoft paid for abortions for non-employees too. Dude, that'd be a fucking baller ass move from like Microsoft deep pocket shit. Some serious Microsoft deep pockets. They're like, you know what? We got this. How, how many? How? How? What is? What is abortion like? What does abortion healthcare look like per year for cost? Right? How many billion can it be? All right? Microsoft's just like, yeah, we got that out of pocket. Don't worry about it. Now the Microsoft abortion fund starts. They're like, yeah, you can just apply to Microsoft, and we'll, you know. You work through our network of providers, or we'll just directly reimburse you into your bank account. <laughs> it'd be, dude, that'd be some fucking psycho big dick energy. Like, that's a corporation just straight up showing you that, like, yeah, we run this bitch. Dude, that's them showing their hand at that point. Like, yeah, we're the de facto governance. Um, Is it terrorism or just arson if the facility was closed and there was no... No, 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 no. Yeah, no, it, there, there doesn't need to be an injury. It's about the fear. Um, be over. Terrorism is uh, using um, using a fear or terror campaign um, to enact political change within a society. It's terrorism. No one needs to be hurt for it to be terrorism. Yeah, no, it, it is most assuredly terrorism. Um, now we just have to need to have an ethical and moral discussion of terroristic acts. That's all. I did not see that, uh, Alex. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, they do have unions in Europe. I mean, you know, apparently it did protect them from fucking rape at fucking Ubisoft, but fucking rapist ass goddamn fucking company they are. Jesus Christ. But. Oh, uh, no. Okay. Um, thank you. Just give me the picture. I think it's just, I think it's a chick. I think it's a chick. Simple as that. I hate to be like a nineties bro on this one, but that's my first instinct. Ask me. That was my first thought too. Yeah, that's just that's 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 a girl's handwriting. That's a girl's handwriting. That's 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 what women write like. Full punctuation. Yeah, full punctuation. Like that's that's my that's my instinct. Is like yeah, given given all of the variables, of course. Yeah. I, if you hear hooves, don't assume giraffe or don't assume ze a zebra, assume horse, All right? Like this is, this is an anti, this is a fucking anti-abortion facility that got like firebombed and there's graffiti on the side, basically straight up like warning them, right? And the handwrite, handwriting particularly looks traditionally feminine. My first instinct would be probably was a woman that did this. You know? Oh, 
Uh, Caleb, you don't need to. I've got fucking copies of it. <laughs> I got copies of it, man. I've got their communique. And it's their first. I right, Pop John. Uh, <laughs> that's a girl's handwriting, says be over. One with a cricket and a home-based t-shirt and mug company. <laughs> you know what? I see it. I see it. Um... Libs were schizo posting about it being a false flag. Nah. Libs are still, libs still have their fucking heads in the ground. Like always fucking libs are useless. They, um, yeah, it, we just need to vote harder. Y'all. We just need to vote harder. That's, that's, that's the fucking lib solution, man. And when some real shit starts going down, the libs don't know how to read the situation. Like, yeah, homie, shit's real. Like, that's not some false flag bullshit. That's just, that's what it looks like. You started fucking with women's bodily autonomy. This shit happened before. This ain't, this isn't new. You think this shit's new? Homie. <laughs> the shit goes back a ways. This isn't the first time. Won't be the last. Yeah, they'll also flee like whiny, scared children. They always do. Anti-abortionists murdered doctors in their fucking church. In the rectory of their own fucking church. Yeah. They fucking pipe bomb, nail bombed fucking clinics. They fucking murdered doctors in, their own, in the rectory of their own fucking churches. Oh, yeah. Dude, this, this shit's for real. And the libs who think they're like, oh, that's why they're fucking... They're dumb. They're, they live in their own little weird bubble world of fucking white privilege. And even the ones who aren't, are, even the people of color libs, by the way, they're living in a bubble of white privilege. Like that's liberalism is like neoliberalism is a bubble of white privilege. It's kind of what it is. So, yeah. A possum shaman. Find out if you have a food, not bombs. Go serve some food. Go make some food. You'll find the anarchists that way. Um, yeah, that's that's a possum. That's my recommendation to you. If you want to find actual leftists, find your nearest food, not bombs. Go make food. You'll meet somebody. Yeah, that's that's how you find those people. Um, the Food Not Bombs website will have a listing for your the, the nearest one, and there should be one close to you. If you live if you live in any major area, there are already a Food Not Bombs there with you. Um, but if you're in Bumfuckistan, you might have to travel a minute. No promises. All them. <laughs> yeah, if Walls could talk. Dude, that was a movie. Mm. Yeah, that's that's adorable. The fucking libs were like... I, I had no idea. Because you guys, you guys are the ones that keep me up on that sort of stuff, right? Like, that's... You know that. Like, I don't pay a lick of attention to that uh, that kind of discourse. I had no idea that the fucking... The libs were out there. Like, people were out there. Like, it's a false flag because fancy handwriting on graffiti. Jesus fucking Christ, these people are dumb. Dude, they wouldn't survive a suck a fucking second out doing some direct action in the streets. Jesus goddamn Christ. Brother, I'm in Confedistan. Help. Oh, we're, we're working on trying to get that railroad set up, my man. Uh, if it was a false flag, it would have been spelled wrong. It's a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, those Fs are tight. The R's are tight, especially the leading into R's, like off the O and stuff. Dude, this is that's good handwriting. Um, I don't know who that is. Yeeted an anarchist from his chat for telling him he was wrong because IRI was like, anarchists don't use cursive. 
What the fuck? I, anarchists don't use cursive. All right. All right. Cool. That's that's the weirdest shibboleth ever applied to anarchism that I've ever seen. <laughs> Caboose, it's because you are fucking old. Um, gate, gatekeeping based on cursive is the dumbest shit. Yeah, the, that's the fucking dude, that's the shit. See, this can't be an this can't be an anarchist because they fucking understand cursive. Guys, can you read this to me? Because I don't understand cursive, man. I'm an anarchist. Fucking what's cursive? Fucking Jesus, goddamn Christ. Some people are bringing up the Blacks rules, graffiti, some dweeb spray painted on his own drive during 2020 to claim victimhood. Yeah, dude, song, their Fs are great. Fucking, they, they're solid. Just, I like them. Good style. But that handwriting is very distinctive. Also, um, somebody, I, I mean, I could literally see somebody see that on the news. I can envision somebody um, seeing that on the news and being like, dude, is that Sally's? Like, did, did, is that, did Sally do that? Yeah. That handwriting is going to give it away to somebody probably. Um, what did Jane do now? Uh, I remember going to a pizza and getting a weird smelling rubber, uh, rubber hand puppet from the Casper movie. Yep, yep, yep. There was <laughs> the pizza pictures in the, the welcome reprieve. Yeah, yeah. The 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 op the correct opsec on that is block letters. Hey, there he is. Come here, boy. He's a good boy. Ah, uh, it was has. Oh, I'm sorry, Alex. Hope, hope she gets better. <laughs> Kids. All right, we'll see. I mean, we'll see. Red. That's either way. Um. Um. My S will forever go like integration lines. Um, in the in the the acute phase of stomach flu, Alex, there's not much you can do. She she just be she should be sipping on something ever so slightly salted um, for water. Um, and fucking yeah, you should be she should be sipping on something ever so slightly. Um, salted for water and just, you know, sip, sip, sip occasionally over the course of 15 minutes and that sort of thing. But, but the acute phase of a stomach flu, like a proper, you know, a proper 24 bug, something like that. There's nothing you can do. She's not going to keep anything down. She's going to vomit. So the best you can do is just try and keep a small amount of water at a time. Very small. At a certain age, the, you know, small sips get difficult to instruct but yeah that's about all you can do other than hooking up a drip bag <laughs> keeping her hydrated that way uh let's see let's close this there we go clear that it lasted two and a half days she started being sick monday afternoon uh, I had to fucking, yeah, you just gotta, you gotta, um, not like that. It can, um, you just gotta keep after it. You gotta keep after it. Um, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm also in that camp. Fucking dude, something in there while you're heaving, like dry heaves are worse than vomiting. Dry heaves are worse than vomiting for sure. For sure. That fucking just, oh. God, it's just painful. 
Yeah, dry it fucking dry heaves are way worse than vomiting. So just having something in there alone might help. But no, I have no Pokemon. I I I'm not a fucking Pokemon guy. That's 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 a it's a stylized tree. You're you're there. You go. Not my. It's a tree. It's it's the base of a tree. So. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm too old for Pokemon. Uh, I'm just, I was right. I was in high school when Pokemon was becoming a thing. So that was some like middle school shit. We just didn't touch it. So I've never gotten into Pokemon and quite frankly, I don't, I'm not a huge JRPG kind of guy. I don't like turn-based combat. So I don't like collector games and I don't like turn-based combat. Not a huge fan of JRPGs. So pretty much Pokemon is not my thing. It's pretty much how that works out. Um, I do like the, um, the Psyduck. The Psyduck amuses me. The, the 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 Psyduck does uh, on a spiritual level. I I understand the Psyduck. <laughs> um, so that's that that thing I understand. Um, my son the trucker has a Psyduck. <laughs> when when it was explained to me, I was like, oh no, I understand this fuck. I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'm like, I get that. Uh, Psyduck or Koduck is a water type Pokemon introduced in Gen 1. It evolves to Gold Duck starting at level 33. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I just like Psyduck. <laughs> Suffering, miserable fuck that he is. Oh. Oh. Did y'all hear Trump? Trump kept asking. <laughs> this is great. This is great. Um, who is this by? This is this is by um, it, multiple people. Oh my god! This is just multiple people. Multiple sources told Rolling Stone magazine Trump asked. Trump repeatedly asked, "Was China shooting us with a secret hurricane gun?" Multiple sources confirmed over multiple times. Trump repeatedly, this is the key word, repeatedly asked about this. Is China shooting us with a hurricane gun? Oh. Oh. <laughs> It's because it's because he's in those like conspiracy circles. Like those he was on Alex Jones's show. You know that, right? Like he was on Alex Jones's show and Harp, the high amplitude uh auroral, auroral research program that has been speculated about in um in Alaska for ages now by conspiracy theorists is said to control weather. And so like in within conspiracy circles, it's already a a fucking given. Like it's, it's, it is an assumed status that the U S amongst several other countries have weaponized weather and that we have weapon control techniques. And they'll go back to like the, uh, the silver chlorides, uh, cloud seeding programs back in the sixties and stuff like that to lay the foundational framework for, you know, any good conspiracy has a, a seed of truth in it. And we do have basic, you know, weather modification technology. We do possess it. We can do it. Um, but we don't have a hurricane gun and like, you know, yeah, Trump, Trump repeatedly asked multiple people, <laughs> according to fucking multiple sources, that is China shooting us with a hurricane gun? <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. Yeah. He wanted to nuke the hurricane. Yeah, don't don't get me wrong. 
I don't like harp. Well, we've been talking about current topics the entire fucking night. And we did even for X, Y, and Z. Fucking, ain't the only garment. And then, uh, uh, and fucking, why are we bringing up something five years ago? And fucking, go, go fuck off somewhere else, man. This is the after dark show. Look, the, the, the requirements are get a fucking beer in your hand or a joint in your fucking mouth and chill the fuck out, man. We're just trying to vibe and have some fun with it. We've been talking about fucking terrorism and war and fucking the four horsemen of the apocalypse up in this bitch. Now we're trying to relax and vibe and still stay on topic and talk about some politically associated stuff. But at the end of the day, man, they're going to be funny stories. And the story about fucking Trump at repeatedly asking if China's shooting us with a hurricane gun that just got published in Rolling Stones is funny. So it's good for it's good for a good laugh after we came off the back of fucking just talking about some real shit. So either take yourself less seriously or take this less seriously or take life less seriously. And fucking either go somewhere else or fucking learn to chill, man. Spaniard, y'all botch the armada, armada. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh, the man, the myth, the legend, our saint, our patron saint of bad movie night, Neil Breen, everyone. Uh, yeah, don't take life too seriously. You'll never get out alive. I'm a fan of Stan Hopes. Um, don't work hard. Didn't anybody ever tell you you die at the end anyway, dummy? Um, yeah, it's fucking, I just don't understand people sometimes. Blue, thanks for the follow. Um, oh, it looks like, uh, and probably another one popping. Uh, cool, cool aid, thanks for the follow. Uh, simultaneous follows, simultaneous follows. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Did you see uh, fucking Susan Collins, like, complaining like the bitch she is? Straight up. Uh, so, uh, somebody chalked her sidewalk, and she called the cops for reporting defacement of public property for chalking her sidewalk with a pro, uh, uh, pro-choice message. Yeah. She fucking, she called the cops on somebody for chalking a sidewalk. Dude, I activists here in Las Vegas had to spend... Like nears makes no difference. Five years fighting in courts, their right to chalk the sidewalk in front of the uh, the police station. Dude, they they hit, they were hitting them with felonies. So, yeah, it finally got decided. Um, I reported on that a couple months ago. But yeah, um, yeah. So that's that's defacement of public property she's got such she's got peak karen energy too did she call brett because brett kevin all lied to her too dude she's dude she's got peak karen energy um here what is shit Uh, if you can wash off the hose, it's not graffiti. You know, you could probably brush it off. It's chalk for fuck's sake. Now imagine she's blonde. Uh, she's just, she's just a fucking, she's a twat. She's a classic twat. Um, geez, how many Kyle died in that photo? <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> She's a politician from Maine, by the way. She's a politician from Maine. Weird as shit, man. Oh, uh, what's the uh what's the word for um 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 fucking um 
There's a German word for a punch, uh, for a face that's punchable or a, a face that calls out for a punch or something like that. There's a German word for it. There it is. There it is. Backpfeifengeschicht or some shit like that. Yeah. Backpfeifengeschicht. Fuck it. Whatever it is. Yes. Alex right there with it. That's that's the fucking word. And Viva's got it as well. Che's got it as well. Um, yes. It's it's a face that cries out for a fist or some shit like that. Backpfeifengeschicht. Psyched. Fuck German. Um, he says with a German last name. Um, in France, we call it a slap magnet. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's got she's she's got that back five finger tight fucking shit going on. Uh, and self def uh, defenestration is tossing oneself out of a window. Calls for a slap. There we go. Yeah, calls for a slap. <laughs> In America, we call it electable. Oh, God, that's so fucking... Dude, that's painfully on point. That's painfully on point. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Yeah, 100%. That's what's happening. 100%. That's what's happening. Um... Slapping Fossa is honorable mention. Um, we're gonna raid over to. Oh, we're gonna raid over to public. I need, I need to get some food made. It's been weird. My schedule, dude. Tomorrow maybe I may be super fucking tired for tomorrow's show. Um, I'll be on VC after this though for a bit. Um, but <coughs> my schedule's fucked. I slept entirely too much today. Like I said, today is just one of those days with chronic illness. It happens occasionally that you just like the fatigue sets in. Um, <laughs> thank you, Sunrise. You ate a one and a half pizzas the other day, like in the same day, Alex. Congratulations. Um, Congratulations. That's 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 quite a way like real pizzas, like not like some fucking and pizza mini pizza bullshit, but like uh be over. Um he's out of the hospital and he is keeping food and water down. Thank you for asking. Um yes, he's he's alive. He's alive. So he got some level of care that worked. He's he's recovering 